You guys fucking suck at the word game, dude. You know that? You guys don't know words like I know fucking words. This music doesn't even sound Mexican or communist. True. This is more Beans music, for sure. Good morning, everybody. Good to see you all. Uh, put this away. Let me just get undressed real quick. Um... Right, back to the game. Monday, where's everyone's day been? You guys don't do Easter Monday in America, do you? Losers. We've got four crystal trees, awesome. LMS comes back soon. Spooks, what's up, Ryan? How are you? Julian, what's happening? Think about abroad and not abroad. No, I thought about them both, cunt, but you can only put one word in like every 15 seconds and I'm sick of Grayson stealing my fucking words when I'm typing them. So I'm not fucking cheating on my own word game, all right? Just because you guys are fucking dumb cunts doesn't mean I have to be as well, you know? I'm probably the smartest person you ever know. Uh, my crafting level is 80. I'm slugging that ass like a go-go. Uh, that's going to get you timed out if you ever talk to me like that again. And Snipe Dale was a good boy. That's because I didn't give you the chance to snipe, dude. Kept your ass at bay. Start this time. You didn't steal anything. You waited for me to be then be like, wow, that's a word. Sounds like you needed me, dude. You guys got played. It's that sim <coughs> simple. Woo. All right, we didn't get a weapon frame on our first kill. Kind of toxic. Let's see what we can pull here, boys. I had a fat nap before streaming today, so I'm pretty fucking out of it at the moment. Quite exhausted. Always wondered how we guess 10 to 20 words and only registers three. Sometimes um, it just is shit. That's all. Sometimes the words you're guessing aren't actually words, and you're just silly. That's also true. Absolutely true. One, two, three, four. We're only going to Ford Fish here. Sometimes uh, maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. It's, uh... Got out of that anti grazing spray, I feel. Yeah, dude. It's called uh, the, the bug spray. Mortin Nature Guard Automatic. Still no weapon frame. Not a big fan of this uh, movement here, but we got all the wood. Yep, of course. Alright, here we go. Weapon frame, surely. Beautiful. We'll take that. Awesome. Good news. How's everyone's Easter? Uh, Mum was pretty chill. I didn't do anything. I went to my parents last night for dinner, but otherwise, I just fucking chilled, man. My son was off of his mother uh, for the weekend, so I fucking just in full degen mode gaming and jacking off. That's about it, dude. An unhealthy amount of lamb? Hell yeah. There's no such thing technically, but yeah. Unless it's raw. Then, like, even just one is unhealthy. Okay, that's pretty good. Two. Got some more fish now. We don't need you anymore. Wait. Yes, we do. I'm a dickhead. Still need three ore. We've got all the wool we need. Right. Medium rare? Nice, dude. Fuck yeah. Three hit, what's up man? How's the car coming along? Very well, I just bought a new orbital sander today because I've been having some issues finding certain discs at certain sizes. So I just had to buy a whole new one today. Um, and I should be, hopefully have it, it should all be cut, polished and waxed by the weekend, hopefully.
Only there's a slight chance of poison? Really? If the lamb was rare? Sorry, I mean raw. Up two hours of searching, it was in the couch. What was? She lost her ring? Oh, dude. How pissed would you be if she lost her ring, though? That's crazy. It's bad enough you have to make up that you've got a fiance, but to have her lose her ring as well? That's nuts, dude. Still did both of them say, yeah, I don't know if need is the correct word. I need shards. I don't really care if I get a bow for or not. Please understand my direction here. Damn, okay. I need like way more fucking shards. Holy shit. This is nuts. Yeah, okay. We've got all the resources. That's the main thing. Dude, I didn't get any shards when I was fishing. What the fuck, man? This is insane. No. My oh, fiance insured for like 110 years. Yeah, what's this 110 years shit, hey? You wouldn't be mad if she lost the ring? Isn't it expensive as fuck though? What was the decision on the scratch? I haven't made one yet. Let's make it so we, where we could react to other chatters. You can by saying lol. You're gonna call insurance, fair enough. What's the excess on the insurance for a ring? Sure, for multiple generations because people pass them down. That sounds like poor people shit, dude. Sounds like something I'd do. 45k engagement ring or wedding? I, I feel like the more money goes into the engagement ring, right? Typically. Wedding rings are just gold bands half the time, aren't they? Some dumb shit. Don't know, I've never been married. Haven't thought about it. Got a lab diamond, hell yeah. Does that mean an artificial diamond? Or do you mean like Labrador, like dog? I should have everything I need here, I think. I hope I've got enough shards. Diamonds over Reddit, honestly. Uh, are they? They're not something you find every day. Don't know. I'm not the guy to ask, to be honest. So you get your ring, then you need to buy a wedding bed. Uh, wedding bed as well. God damn. A wedding bed. One at a time, please. Fuck. Spent 300 on a ring and band and that the missus picked out. Fuck spending heaps on it. Yeah, for, uh, on the wedding band. What? Is, wedding bands are mostly just gold, right? I've never looked into it. I, I've, I've never, like, been with someone to the point where I was like, yeah, I'm going to fucking propose to this bitch. I've been with someone where her mother and her were both, like, within the two-month period. Are you going to propose? And I was like... No, and then two years later, uh, they were like, why haven't you proposed? And my exact words were, you don't deserve it, um, which I think was more than justified because she was fucking nuts. But otherwise, no. So I've never looked into this. Women get two, yeah, just kind of cringe, hey? but you get like, head, so. It's not that bad. Real honestly, I think I think it's totally fair. What do you mean I'm all? What do you mean I'm autistic? I, I think if someone goes, "Why haven't you proposed to me?" and they don't deserve it, you fucking tell them you don't deserve to be fucking like married. You're fucking nuts, cunt. What are you talking about? Why the fuck would I propose to someone who X, Y, and Z's? You know, like 
I don't want to propose to someone who's got a fucking 27 year old umbilical cord attached to them still. Probably not a good idea. Uh, to be honest, the str that strategy I pulled from a family friend who did the same thing to his his missus when he was like 38, 39, and she was like, "Why?" Uh, she was at a he was at a family like dinner with her family and her parents and her friends, and she was like, and I think her mum was like, "Why haven't you proposed to my daughter?" And she's like, "Yeah, why haven't you proposed?" And he was just like. Your daughter does not deserve a fucking wedding ring. <laughs> and it just like listed off all these reasons. And then they pretty much broke up over that. I was like, yeah, that's fucking huge, dude. This massive big dick fucking energy, man. I was like, yeah, that's 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 fucking perfect. She was absolutely bananas though. Still is. Yeah. He just fucking dropped his cock left and then, like, you know. That's it. Here we go, boys. No one has given me a ring. Beans isn't giving getting a ring from anyone. I'm sure there's a guy out there that'll give you a ring, Beans. There was someone in Europe that wanted to give you a thousand dollars to be to be your boyfriend. All you had to do was say yes, and you would a thousand euros. So even better. There's someone out there that'll give you a ring. The only ring I want is the red ring of death from the Xbox 360, dude. I'll never forget when I had that. I had a, I had like one of the first Xbox 360 models, right? And I was playing my mate's game of Fable 2, right? And that's because I, I fucking love Fable. Like, Fable's one of my favorite games. So he had Fable 2, and I was like, that's fucking cool. Can I borrow it? So I borrowed it, and I was playing, and my brother was watching, and then... Um, the red ring of death popped up, but nothing went wrong. Like I, I got the red ring, and the and the Xbox was fine. Never had to replace it. It worked still. It it would just pop up, right? I was I guess I was lucky, but what happened was it it says when you buy these three sixties, you guys might remember if you have one, when you buy them, there's a little sticker on the front that specifically says, do not lift or move a console when disc is inside, right? Which means when the console's on and there's a disc inside. Do not fucking pick the cunt up. And the Red Ring of Death comes up, and my brother just goes, oh! pulls it up, like picks it up, right? Looks at it, and all you hear is, <laughs> and I'm just like, for fuck's sake, pull out my mate's Fable 2 disc, and it's just fucking destroyed on the fucking ring, like all over it. And I was like, all right, fair enough. So when it, my brother had to go buy him a new one, and then I installed Fable 2 to the, to the Xbox anyway. Because the, the Xbox knew it was a Fable 2 disc, but it wouldn't start. And all it needed to do was know it was Fable 2, then that was it. So, got a free Fable 2 disc out of it. My brother had to buy a new one, so that was sweet. But, that's, yeah, that's just a, like a childhood memory of mine I'll never forget. Fucking retard, eh? You ever wrap your Xbox in a towel? Nah. I just turned it off for a bit, then turned it on, and then like it never came back. True story. Got a PlayStation that sounds like an airport. That's just a PlayStation. I've got a PlayStation 1 that shoots sparks out the back, though. No bullshit. You plug it in, you turn it on, it's just fucking... It's fucking great, man. I don't recommend turning it on, but, you know. If you want a, if you want a cool light show... I've got, a, I've got a retro fucking version. Here we go. Good luck! Never lucky. Campfire starter? Pretty much, yeah. Plug it into the RV, you're good to go. I think we're going to hit Vardavis today, boys. What do you think? Some Vardusi? And then I'm thinking... Oh, shit. Do I want to do Tob or do I want to do TOA? I think I might see if High goes up for some TOA. Plus, like, Nate and uh, Rob and stuff, they want to come back to that too. But I, I think I think I might send some Tower. I don't know. What do you think, boys? 
It's got Red Ring on Christmas Day. Uh, when I got it, my parents beat the shit out of me for it. Fuck off. <laughs> I had a very couple of times and pulled the power supply and it was good after that. That's what my, like mine basically was. It was just like a power supply thing. I don't want to do TOA, but it's probably better to do some TOA. Yeah, I don't want to do TOA, but I need to do TOA. I need to get some purples from there. I need a light bearer. A light bearer would fucking just, I like. I need it, you know? Why have I got a message? What is this shit? Oh. Anyways. Post a little video of it if you want to see the ring. I can TOA if you don't. If you want to see TOA anonymous, let me do a little bit of Vardy and then we'll send it. What video are we talking about here? In the general? And you've tagged Beans. Can I get confirmation that that's safe to watch before I pull it up? I don't want Oomph just like randomly jumping in front of the uh, camera with just this fucking piece of meat hanging between his legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna take these two as well. And this, and this. It's good? All right, let's have a look. Oh, that's, okay, hold on. Here we go. That's the engagement ring you got your missus, eh? Why have you got this rotisserie shit going on? Let's have a look at that. How many carrots is that, eh? How many diamonds you got in there? One? What are these little fucking things? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one carrots! Purple is so pretty. God damn. Look at that, hey? That's the sort of shit Thanos would delete half the fucking universe for right there. That's beautiful. She's a lucky girl. It's too bad that the ring came attached with just this chin dribbling spastic who's like, Oh, you want to marry me? But, you know, you, you win some, you lose more, right? It's not 21 carats, that's not how you count it. I saw 21 diamonds, it's 21 carat magic, alright? I've heard the Bruno Mars song. Don't tell me how to fucking count diamonds, alright? Hello, Samantha, how are you? <laughs> I need to make some more house tabs. I keep saying this. One day I'm going to go live and have no house tabs. Koda, what's happening, brother? Good to see you, mate. Uh, we're going to take our Abby Dagger. One, two. We're going to take some butterflies. Take five Moonlight Moth Mix. And a bunch of Shacks. Maybe with another girl. The her ground mate, about to get bruised. Nice. I've got about 3k bruise at the moment on this account. I'm feeling good about it. I don't want to go to work. Well, you can quit your job, but just remember if you quit your job, you're going to kill yourself in the next 12 months because you'll be fat, alone, depressed, probably single by that point, and, well, jobless. Remember, you've got to get a job. It's unfortunate, but as Kanye West once said, when the fuck are you going to get a job? Man, look at this guy. What a fucking unit. Doesn't even have a quiver. Loser. I have a job and you just described me anyways. Shit. You better keep that job. That's, that's, that sounds like that job is holding back everything, dude. This is, this is, hold on, let me find it. This is it here, alright. This bad boy here. Spider-Man is your job. This is you just fucking surviving in life, dude. And this is just imminent death. Everything else in life. I've just described you. I've just described the whole chat in a nutshell, dude. 100%. I'm at 1500 vibe KC. No axe, please. Bad luck. Watch me pull it. Can read just too easily. I just, I, I look real recognize real man. I understand depression. I don't have it, but I get it. I don't have depression, I cause it. You got two rings? That's not too bad. The ring from here is pretty good money, hey?
When the fuck are you gonna get job? Lots of zeros here today on Vardusi. Okay, here come the axes, here comes the sun. This side. Daggers out. Here we go. Alright. Not enough damage from the dagger, but it's fine. Like fucking clockwork, boys. Like fucking clockwork. Fuck me. Just kill the cunt. He's dead. Ding bop. 180 fire runes. Can you fucking believe it? You wouldn't even read about that, mate. Top 10 things you wouldn't read about. Fucking 180 fire runes from a pretty decent Vardava skill. What a joke. My main just like to complain for enough. 160 mil is not bad for the rings. Is that for both rings or just one? What are you working on for the hardcore? I'm currently just finishing up crafting, just using up the last gold bars that I've got. Then I'm going to be running some roof top ussies while I alk them for some money. I should have about six mil in cash after all that's done, hopefully. And then I reckon we start doing things like throwing a miscellanea so we can start using that money for herbal or levels. So I can stop wasting XP lamps on herbal ore. Man, he's slicing me up, dude. Look at this. Just taking eight through fucking prayer. Both only must bar reasonable 87 range. Um, I would say yes, but like obviously high range levels would be better. Dope, uh, ba drop a badass playlist. Hold on. As in this drop is. This is the one that Bing William Chilliam gave me on the uh, subathon. It's very S tier. GNT gameplay is like DTK. Is this happening, brother? What well, upgrades do you need for Coliseum? I'd like a Venator bow, personally. That's that. That's what I'm really working on. Which, it, as a result, I would like a um an occult. smell a wee in here. I'd like an occult amulet for it, at least. That was just like a crackhead resident evil boss, like fucks anyone up uh, when you shit wrong in his presence. Dude, I didn't even notice my prey wasn't up. I, I didn't realize I missed the uh, range prey. Maybe I switched my prey back too early. I don't know. It says you've been injured and can't use protection prayers. I didn't realize I missed it at all. Had no clue. Thought I was fine unfortunate when are you going blonde again uh i'm not i went blonde because i it was for charity and i haven't done charity since then so there's no incentive or need to at the moment 
Hope this helps. Jay, give us up. Well, type that it was the wrong time. Nah, you're good, man. So good. We got a we got a Vardy kill. We got a death. Time to move on from this garbage. Wait. What what's left in my gravestone? Did I leave something behind? Uh, I want to do a little bit of, a little bit of Lizard Man shamans because I I've got a task. I'm pretty sure. And then we'll send some TOA. How's that sound? Uh, hi, guy. I didn't leave anything in my desk. Retrieved everything from the ghost Right, okay, cool. Don't worry. Sounds good. We'll do CG in the meantime. I'm sorry to make you suffer. Right. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Lizardman Shamans, which is pretty big because Dragon Warhammer sounds... Impossible. But I'm sure we can all get along and have a good time. Beautiful. How are we doing for shards and shit? We've got 5,000 darts and 6,000 scales. Uh, that'll be fine. Make some moonlight moths. All right, boys, let's do it. First red cape or first purple? What's closest? I've already got a purple from every. Well, oh, I don't have a purple from top actually. Um, actually, it would be my top raid cape because it's a it's a hundred KC right at top for a cape. Sinhaza shroud tier one. Yeah, so I, I'm I'm twenty three purples. Uh, sorry, twenty three raids from having a cape before a purple. I don't want to be reminded of that again. Ian, what's up? How you doing, Jordan? Good to see you. I know Oz is full king, but if I had to pick between doctorate studies in Oz or Germany, would living in Sydney suck massive balls? I don't know what it's like in Germany. Um, in Sydney, it, I, mean, I don't know. It's expensive to live in Sydney. It's not, a, it's not a cheap place. It depends where in Sydney. If you mean Sydney, the city, you're going to be spending a bit of money. If, you're, if you mean just like the state that Sydney's in, which is New South Wales, then it depends where you live. But if you live uh, out in Broken Hill, which is only seven hours away from Sydney CBD, um, then mum gay. I don't know. Like, I don't. I don't live in Sydney. I couldn't tell you, mate. Bet the food's better in Sydney. Uh, probably. There's a lot of like wogs and shit there. They got some hell good food, like Lebanese and shit. It's fucking awesome. Everywhere in Sydney's pricey. Yeah, I'd imagine it would be. It's. It's just like a, it's. It, like Sydney is just like. Like, think Finding Nemo. The cunt's got to go to Sydney. So everyone's like, Wow, Sydney's so good because it's the place Nemo's from. So everyone spends money and thinks that they're fucking top shit from there. You know? What the? Why don't you have a cannon? What the fuck is going on here? Where's he gone? Is this mine? Is this lost? Rent wise, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was, I'm just being an asshole. I think no matter where you live in Australia, you can't necessarily go wrong. But um, you ab absolutely um, don't want to be living in Tasmania or Alice Springs. Talk to a league streamer. He says there's a place called Cherburger in Aussie. You been there? Nope. Oh, no, I haven't been to Melbourne, so I couldn't tell you. All I know is that Melbourne is dog shit. Never been, but instantly, yeah, nah, fuck Melbourne.
See the Reddit post of the girl who tried to surprise the boyfriend with lingerie and sex, but he turned her down because he had started the top. He ended up getting sang. On kit. Very nice. Very good. Don't you hate it when your missus invites her twin sister over for dinner and you get confused and fuck her dad? No. Everyone downvoted her ass too. Poor girl wanted to get dick down, uh, but I too would be like, but I just started. True. You can wait till I'm done with the raid. Not Tanzania because of the devil. It's Tasmania, not Tanzania. And no, not there, not because of the devil, but... Well, you could say the devil, but not the Tasmanian devil. We're, not, we're more talking about the, the man. That sort of devil, you know? Alright, we've got a couple of boys here that have been pinged. Love the car project. Thank you, Frog. Appreciate it. Uh, can't wait to see the final product. Neither can I. I'm looking forward to it. Should have it this weekend. I've got a lot of work to do over the next few days. With the fucking orbital sander in the palm of my hand. I should really be using Eagle Eye here, not Rigor. Ha Warhammer. We got Warhammer, boys. Room, but we got one. KC on Lizards? Dunno. Too much. Alice Springs. Where we go to Oz and go on there? Why would you go to Alice Springs? Why does every American go to Alice Springs? It, it's in a terrible location. There is no sea. There's no beach. There's no the sand. And there's also just a terrible and very corrupt community for all races involved. Doesn't matter. It's it's really not a safe place to be. Kangaroo Jack. I mean, I I I that what what? Ever since I watched uh, Dr. Dre straight out of Compton, I, I've wanted to I've wanted to go to Compton. I, I watched I watched uh, The Hangover and I want to go to Vegas and I was like, don't go to Vegas, bro. Same logic. They have an American military base. What in in Alice Springs, really? Going to other is like going to fucking Mordor. Yeah, it's not in a very, especially right now, there's a lot of riots and stuff going on. It's not very good. Friendly Geordies went there recently. Well, I've got to go there too then! Not that same statement about walkabout, but I would probably get put on a list. I don't know what that means. Is Alice Springs the hood? No, it's very. Um, uh, th there's a lot of Indigenous Australian residents there. And there's a lot of corruption towards them from the police. And then there's a lot of harassment and um, violence towards pretty much anyone who isn't indigenous from the, like, I guess, I guess you said the, the locals. So it's very, like, they, they hold, like, um, motor events there on an annual basis. Like, a lot of our street racing and, like, drag racing and stuff that my mate goes to. Um... And, dude, some of the stories he tells me is just fucked. Like, they they have so much... Like, they, they pretty much police the entire fucking place. You can't get alcohol on certain days after certain hours. The petrol in anywhere outside of the town and anywhere, out like, outside of any, like, main part of Australia. Like, if you, if you drive through the middle of Australia, the petrol doesn't have um, that chemical in it that gives it that petroly smell. It has to be made differently because otherwise... People buy it and they just fucking snort the shit, dude. And they just get high off of it. And the petrol stations are not open past 5 p.m. Like, if you need fuel for your car, you've got to get it between 9 and 5. Because it's just not safe. People get robbed all the time. Motherfuckers get jacked up, dude. It's, it's a big problem, man. 
So if you want to come to Australia and go to Alice Springs, by all means, please. I beg you, do it. People have petrol? Of course they do. What's up, Josh? How you doing, man? It's true, man. Like stereotypes exist for a reason. Whether whether you consider them offensive or racist or not, they're like they're fucking stereotypes. Are, are like they have, they have a purpose in life. Do they eat dirt? Don't think so. How they soften out the petrol in South America because it's pretty much uh, pure ethanol there, and you can just get shit house drunk for super cheap. Yeah, pretty much. Grandma grew up in Alice Springs and she said it hasn't changed at all in six, uh, since the 60s. Wouldn't surprise me. No one cares. We're talking shit. Uh, we're shit talking abos. We're, we're ju I'm just explaining the nature of Alice Springs in general. <laughs> Alright, not. Which, yes, unfortunately uh, involves the, the, I guess, indigenous culture and lifestyle out there. Only, only the Australians will understand it. Everyone else is like, oh, Kangaroo Jack! Things all fucking happy go lucky out there. Look up dirt eating in Georgia. I will when I'm not busy. Aborigines don't build civilizations. Check history. I. Thank you. Appreciate that. This isn't a debate on, like, <laughs> whether the white man is right or wrong. But thank you. Buy myself another motorcycle to my fuck it, dude. How many motorbikes you got? Is this going to be number two? Because if it's more than two, you need to sell one. Didn't know people didn't ask stuff like Huff and Petrol. Yeah, it's a legit thing. But Kangaroo Jack, I don't care. To be number three? What the fuck do you need three bikes for? Starting one after I get this? Yeah, huge. Nice. Grave Stuff and Lady isn't much was. Is that like a movie? So watch, sorry, not was. Croissant. Okay, see I'm losing so far? I don't know, dude. Couldn't tell ya. It's too much. And anything more than 700 is too much. And I'm well beyond 700 because I, this is the driest I've ever gone on the Dragon Warhammer. That's in your stream, been learning Inferno. Oh, fair enough, but also, why only 35 likes? Because some of the people who show up to the chat don't hit the thumbs up button and then expect to be treated like normal people. Thumbs up, bums up, boys. You want to see some TOA content today? Me and just a high guy doing some high guy things? We'll be good. No, it's not 1 in 1k in task, it's 1 in 5k regardless of gender. But if you do Elizabeth Shaman's off task or Dragon Warhammer, Hammer, you got brain damage. Sandwich, lady! What you got for me, baby girl? Triangle sandwich? Nah, get out of here. Watch out for the exploding minions. I'm going as well if you want. I will let you know. I'm, I'm, I'm considering only duoing because I want less competition against the purple, to be honest. It's not really much a, much of a choice in Tob for that. I, I was considering that earlier I said that some people can join, but I think I might just try to stick to duos. But if we do tops later, I'll let you know. I'll hit you up. Do my license on the MT07 and then and then MT09. They were fucking awesome. I don't know what that means. Oh, you guys are talking bikes, right? Gotcha. My mate had a 1000 CC bike. He had a BMW, one uh, one one liter bike. That shit was fucking quick, man. He, he had he only had he like swapped out the motor, uh, not the motor. Sorry, the the muffler for just like a sports muffler. Um, that was it, you know? It was a titanium 
muffler, that's all he did. So, really nothing. And he was running fucking mid nine seconds on the quarter mile with it. I had my Evo, we went down to the drag strip, and he was racing his bike, I was racing my car, and he, yeah, he was fucking fanging it, dude. They're fucking quick bikes, man. Had the same uh, power to weight ratio as a Bugatti Veyron, I'm pretty sure. You need 600cc uh, Super Sport and you're golden on the roads. Leaders are fucking nice. Yeah, leaders is for straight lines, dude. 600s are better for like uh, cornering and shit and just like mountain climbs and that sort of stuff. I, I was I was going to get a bike at one point, but I opted for the uh, old school car lifestyle instead. I, d I don't regret it, to be honest. I'm glad I didn't go with motorbikes. I, I would have done it. It would have been nice, but I... It, the, the most appealing part to me was just being able to skip traffic. Um, but I like cars too much, man. I'm a, I'm a car person at the end of the day. It's a series, series of you collecting all the new armor and weapons from Valamor. You want to see a series of me collecting all the new armor and weapons from Valamor. Aaron Yanez, this is why you're a viewer and I'm the content creator. Because I didn't come up with such fucking stupid ideas like that no one's going to watch. One... Series of gay. I'm, a, I'm an entertaining content creator, okay? I don't have to sit here and be like, All right, guys, my one chunk locked Edgeville Iron Man jockstrap is now ready to go on episode 47. Okay, I don't need to rely on a series for my success. I just need to open my mouth, say words, and people go, Ugh. Right. I ain't doing no fucking series on some bullshit-ass armor and weapons from Valamore. We want to do Perilous Moons for fucking 24 hours a day? Hell no. Fuck that. Appreciate the idea though, thank you. Double it, give it to the next person. I can't imagine you want to fucking actually watch me play the game. A ton of people have done that already, so I just buys them on Tess on day one. There you go, that's all you need. I, I fucking hate making videos like that, to be honest. Like, it's so, it's so fucking, like, underwhelming. I, I just don't, I don't want to sit there and be like, you know... Just doing perilous moves and being like, oh my days, and when you get like a fucking drop, three times the drop rate. Okay. Uh, think of all the clips you'd have for Behemoth? Yep, zero. Same number every day, Pinky. I just get fucking fisted. Excuse me. Good luck. Huge. In Florida, from a bike family, the most lax laws of all time don't ride a bike. I, um... I don't fully understand what that means. Don't want to listen to content creators screaming into their mic just like undisciplined children about how the dual Mac daddies hit. I'd rather just watch children and chat shit. I mean, I still scream into the mic like undisciplined children, but it's mostly just me telling Beans to shut the fuck up, which we can all relate to. I think in Dragon Warhammer is all I need to start doing CMs. Like, I'll, I'll be struggling for time a little bit, but I think that's all I really need to kind of get the ball rolling on the, on the challenge mode department, I think. Solos. 
90 mi minus 90 milliams. That's it. Bing Chilliam lost 90 million. White Knight has entered the chat. <laughs> Viper's fucking suited up, dude. So time to see him. I think it's an hour and 15. I think it'll be a little bit RNG because rooms like Vespula will be likely my bottleneck at that point. Um, unless I can get an occult, then I can probably do it with magic. But I don't know. But it, it's it's more about like getting through Ulm and landing the Warhammers will be quite important. Are they just in the account? No. I don't have shit, dude. I ain't got shit. I really don't need food here, eh? Normally I do, but I guess I'm game today. I like your swearing casual guys on bosses because the two tick, two tick, two tick, two flick, five kick bullcrap to you complex with my dipshit brain. See, I don't even think I swear that much. I feel like I'm just being chilling, dude. Being chilly and being William. How many chilies could have been being chilly for being Bob Willy Bong Chili? So uh, bank and restock, go again. Finish this task, do some fucking sour. Haven't smoked weed in four days for the first time in 13 years. Look at you, going for a job. Well, you're fucking lucky, Onk, because if your miso did lose that fucking ring, you'd be you'd be knuckling down a lot harder, dude. Are you sweating yet? Shaman took me 16.6k on my iron, did off task MSV iron. Yeah, you deserve to fucking suffer in life, cunt. Off task shamans. <laughs> Bad luck. L Unfortunate about the drop rate, but fuck doing them off task. Lawhammer isn't that important. The main reason I want it is so I can stop getting them as fucking slayer tasks, to be honest. Scanned what happened. So what I've done was like I'm already this deep, probably should finish. <laughs> you didn't realize how deep the rabbit hole goes, eh? 16 dozen kills is nuts, man. That's bananas. If you need a new hobby from smoking weed that's like mildly addicting, you can try um Masturbation works. Fun with friends too. I did that while smoking. Oh, excuse me. Fucking fancy pants over here. Weed with cigs is not too bad. Going for full, full ton smoker to no weed, no cigs is hard. Yeah, going cold take like that would fuck you up, dude. Try gambling. You could try gambling, yeah. I mean, you're getting a job, right? Which means you're getting money. So you, you probably could go straight to gambling. It kind of makes sense. Income, outcome, more come, no come. No matter what, we wouldn't be here without come. Do you grind any clothes? Nah, not really. Can't be fucked at the moment. I probably should. I don't know what I need from clothes though. Is there anything important? Or am I just rolling the dice for like, content? As long as there's company winning. True. Want to see how to turn a mortgage parent into not that? <laughs> Watch me play poker. Oh yeah, I was fucking playing some mad poker last night, cunt, on PokerStars. I, I dumped a couple of Brazilians, hey. Like, the favela is no more. You should have seen me. I was hot on the mic and everything. It was amazing. Better the sink in the cum than come in the sink. True. Such a good saying, hey. Better to come in the sink than to sink in the cum.
I make a fucking Facebook account just to play WSOP on PokerStars, really? It's, oh, it's PokerStars, man. I, I play PokerStars, yeah. Just play for real money before AU became wet cum socks. Yeah, I, I, I play. It's just play money. Obviously, there's no, uh, there's no real money involved, but it's still fun. You just need to get out of the low, low table brackets pretty quickly. YouTube let you choose a thumbnail before you go live, yeah. Coke is retarded. I watch my buddies buy three grand worth of days off and push it up their nose. Yep. It's insane, eh? I feel like it's more of a... It, it, I mean, obviously, once you're addicted, you're addicted. But it should be looked at more of a, a party sort of thing than a... Uh, every chance I fucking get thing when it's in my day off. What's up, Brittany? And how are you, by the way, Adam? Good to see you, man. Days off, man. There's like three G spent every days off. It's insane, eh? Once what the boys does that, they wonder why they're broke. Yeah, spending like it doesn't matter how much money you make if you spend it fast, like just as fast as you get it, you, you, you still got no money, you know. <clears throat> Back to work today. Easter's over, time to work. Master got me working. It's not a drug, you are a mad lad. Feel like a dog that sniffed the wrong thing, hurts like shit. Yeah. I, I don't like putting anything really like that up my nose. It's very uncomfortable. I did sherbet once when I was a kid at school. My eyes were watering, dude. It was, it was, it was not fun. I feel like from that point onwards, I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that with anything. That, that, that wasn't good. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, you see, it just wasn't fun, dude. Pixie sticks? Oh, dude, nah. We got the, these, like, maybe that's what they are. I don't know, it's like sherbet in a straw. Like, it, it is it is a straight fucking, like, door, doorway to fucking... Just, like, underage coke use. Provided you had the money, right? Like, they're just... It's sherbet in a straw. And you just, like, pour it out of the straw. And then you just snort it up through the straw. And it's like... What... What, like... Young, not maybe not teen, maybe early teen fucking male isn't going to look at that and go, yeah, that'd be funny. Because you know that dad let you watch fucking Pulp Fiction or The Godfather and you're like, yeah, no, nah, this is fine, trust me. All different colours, yeah, that's it, dude. They're like fucking 10 cents each. Come on, try snorting cinnamon when the cinnamon challenge was a thing. Damn. Have you seen, do you guys know the ALS ice bucket challenge, right? <coughs> How everyone was like pouring ice on themselves? No, like, it's, it's for charity, but like no one ever fucking donated a cent. They were just doing it because they're like white people. Did you, did you ever see the guy do the hot water challenge? Where he had a, a pot of boiling hot water and threw it on his head. And he like instantly went red. And he's like, spray me, spray me on the door, on the floor, like fucking dying. And his mate doesn't spray him with water until he's like begging for the fucking water. This is one of the greatest fucking clips of all time, dude. It got taken off YouTube, I'm pretty sure. But you can definitely still find it. You haven't seen that? It's fucking great, man. I'll show you it after this. Let me try to find it now.
Yeah, it's not available on YouTube anymore. I'm pretty sure the cunt got like mad 30 degree burns, eh? It was on Vine when he originally did it. Sister surprises brother with hot water challenge. Why is this a Reddit post? Oh no. Indiana, Indianapolis. Is that a place in America? He, I, I might have the news article of when this kid did it. Nah, this is someone else. Hold on. I need to find the video, man. Border between Minneapolis and Indiana. Okay, right. Do you have family in Mississippi by chance? No. find this fucking video now oh no I'll have to find it look at news warning parents or uh, kids about to drop boiling hot water on their heads now yep I'm originally from Philly, so it's a tough adjustment. What's that for? Sorry, I missed that chat. Was it a black kid? No, it wasn't a black kid. No, it was some white kid. Why does Google delete Gmail accounts? Probably if they're inactive for too long. <coughs> Excuse me. How do we make it active? Use it. Remake it. You've seen the one kid who threw the pot of boiling water up in the air to do the snow trick, but it wasn't cold enough outside and it just splashed right down on the poor cunt? Fuck yeah. Loser. Kraken tarts are so long? Yes, but they're profitable. Kraken tarts make a lot of money, man. Inferno Cape Town, good luck, man. How are you getting in there? You getting pretty close to Zuck? Like constant Zucks? Met an oomph solo for the first time yesterday, then proceeded to get walked. Yes, oomph is the hard part of soloing. Not to take away, obviously, your success in the raid, but getting to oomph is the easy part. Doing oomph deathless, that's where the real challenge lies. Taking up the Coliseum, I just head straight to Inferno while it's fresh. Yeah, I mean, the principles are kind of the same. If you've got off-ticking and, like, de-stacking down, you can pretty much do the Inferno. Oomph is the hardest part of soloing. Alright, Beans, keep it in your pants, alright? Just because he has a, the ambition to buy someone a 4.5k ring. That's what you just said. I think you're just making things up.
Christian vs. Strike vs. Huddersfield. I don't know what that means. You said it, mate? No, no, no. I think Beans is rent free. Keep myself safe? I always keep myself safe. KYS. What's up, Hunter? How you doing, man? King can't gaslight us? I absolutely can. I've been gaslighting you guys for months. Grab those boys. Oh, fucking Jesus. I don't like this tail whip shit these guys do, like they're fucking Pokemon. Get out of here. Been gaslighting us into thinking he's not actually from New Zealand for years. Dude, it was one mistake I made on my PokerStars account because I tried to like trick the government into thinking I could actually online gamble. Two things. One, it doesn't work like that. And two, uh, New Zealand has the same laws anyway, so <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered. Kiwi Condor? That shit will get you banned, dude. You think I care? You think I give a fuck, dude? I know how this works. I ban you, you complain, but you'll still watch. So you fucking tread lightly, alright? Have a seat, Walter. You play poker for crypto and AU, it's not banned? Really? Don't tell me that. Do not tell me things like that. I don't have crypto, but if I did, do not tell me that. That's gambling squared pretty much, eh? Gambling with gambling. Imagine winning get poker, but you come out with less money because Bitcoin just fucking took a hit. You, you go in with one Bitcoin, you gamble, you come out with five Bitcoin, but the five Bitcoin is now worth half a Bitcoin. That's a DJ Khaled level of playing right there. So many crypto sites these days, I live off my crypto and it never touches my bank, so no tax. Yeah, in Australia, you have to um, pay tax on crypto whether it touches your bank or not. The government knows, they're like, doesn't matter if you if you buy it, if it goes up or down, you've got it, you've got to pay tax on it. Five fifty boys when you get the dragon hammer in the last twenty kills. Alright, good luck. That's why my money's in cows. Fuck Canberra in cows. I feel like if your money's in cows, it's that I don't feel like that's a choice you make because you want to. I feel like that's because you you're a farmer. And if you don't buy cows, then you don't live. But well, just showed up to help me with the crap, with, oh, with the carbs. Oh, see you later, Lampot. Good luck, man. They won't see, they won't see decentralization transactions. They can't read the blockchain, but yes to everything else. 
Uh, there you can see in, in Australia, you have to, if you make a crypto wallet in Australia, I'm pretty sure it's linked to your your government like um, ID thing. So the government can see exactly what crypto you own and how much you buy. Like if it's an official Australian crypto thing at least, I'm pretty sure it's all linked so they can see it all. So it's not like you, you can hide it from them. Man, having a chain of blocks, true. Got my quiv yesterday. Hey, GZ, man. Thanks for your inspiration. Anytime. That's huge, man. GZ, what's up, wizard? Do to link with your bank accounts and do verification before you can even open a crypto account. There you go. I know because I, I bought fucking $10 in like some dog shit coin once because someone was like, it's going to go to the moon. Put 10 bucks in it. And then like a year later, it was $8. And I was like, all right, cool. And the government was like, What's this? And I was like, can't you see? It's fucking pennies on the dollar, cunt. Like, what, you want some? That's why you use Palau ID. Right, I just don't, I have this thing about not committing tax, like, evasion or fraud. Because at the end of the day, um, I would rather pay my taxes than go to jail. Or, you know, have a big tax bill I don't want out of nowhere that I suddenly don't feel like I could afford. Where's the fun in that? Um, I guess living free, free living. Aussie jails are lovely. Yeah, I'm sure it is. But I'm not a fan of, uh, you know, Requeese bending me over as this bitch every night. I don't know, I don't know if you can, can't tell, but I'm not exactly the biggest sort of, uh, the biggest built guy in the bunch, you know? I, but I guess if you go to jail for like fraud, people leave you alone. It's more if you're like snatching fucking ladies' purses and shit, you probably get, you know, your cheeks split. But my argument still stands. <clears throat> you are, look at that belly. What's wrong with my belly, cunt? Got a little bit of a dad bod, sure, but you know, I kick it. Just like that, you're a prime meat in, my, in the system. Can't, I, I don't give a fuck, dude. All right? I might have a bit of a dad bod. But I, I still fuck like a champion, so who cares, right? <laughs> Tax fraud is a cool guy crime. True, yeah, I guess so. Because if you commit tax fraud, you're smart enough to hide the money too. Most of it, at least. Since I got ben, uh, ben Hart, where his daughter made a video calling him a deadbeat, and he clapped back with his own video. Nah. I get sent to a white college jail for tax fraud anyway. Get to play badminton and shit. Oh yeah, it's just rehab basically. If you're gonna commit tax fraud, you may as well just like start a fucking insufferable coke addiction. Really, like you should just get get on the fucking cocaine hard and then just like get admitted to rehab instead. It's probably like completely possible. Rune Musum, what's up, dude? How you doing? Good to see you. Welcome to the live stream. Please rest the chat. 14k drone dragon will hammer. Fuck you. People have estimated the importance of government. The government doesn't care about your five digit crypto holding. True. But still, if they say you got to pay tax on it, I'm going to pay tax on it. Because one, it's not like I've got a fucking living in crypto anyway. And two, I don't think it's like the, the smartest thing you should like you shouldn't be doing in life is taking advice from other people online on how to not pay tax on money that you've got. I feel like if 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 you sh if you've got the opportunity to declare it, you probably should. Now, I'm. That being said, if I had two thousand dollars in cash laying around that the government didn't know about, I'm not declaring that shit. Of course, fifty grand, I'm not going to declare that over. I'll just you'll you'll figure it out. You figure it out. But I feel like I don't know. As soon as you start getting into anything that is electronically tracked, eventually it's going to catch up with you. Money out of the mattress is untaxable, true. Pull up to Adelaide? Nah, would rather not. NFTs are garbage and have always been garbage. Yeah, if you're investing in NFTs, you're 
not the brightest person on the planet. A mate who, who's done about 100k in crypto and has never paid a cent in tax for another three to four years. That's insane, dude. I don't know what system he's using then because I know if you use like most systems in that I guess are in the Australian system, you're automatically in the system. No monkey should try prison then feel like he'd love then feel like he'd love his cheek split. Excuse me? Depends on the exchange using reports. Yo, that's the thing. Yeah, the exchange. That's it. That's literally the... Uh, but that's what we were talking about, yeah. If you don't cash out, you don't have to. No, in Australia, it doesn't matter if you cash out or not. In Australia, it's, it's whether you've got it or not. It doesn't matter. It's not about cashing out. Someone on RS Bonds? You're a fucking retard, cunt. You have to sell, pay tax on crypto each time you sell out of profit? No, you have to... I'm pretty sure you have to pay tax on it regardless. I'm pretty sure I had to. If you have it, you pay, you pay tax on it, I'm pretty sure. Like, if, if you buy it and, it and it profits and you don't sell it, you still had to pay on, pay. like, if, if you put 20 bucks in and it was 25, you'd have to, right? <clears throat> if you sent the, if you sent from your bank to CoinSpot, then it's tracked and tracked on every wallet you send to as well loosely, but not only are taxed at time, but not, you only are t taxed at time of transaction. I'm pretty sure I, I paid tax. It wasn't much. Because I didn't, I didn't invest in much. But I'm pretty sure I paid tax as soon as it. No, instead of not, you only are taxed at time of transaction. So it's only if you sell. Maybe I did sell then. I don't know. Maybe I did sell. I don't know. It was like three years ago or two years ago. I can't remember what I did. And it wasn't a whole lot. I definitely had to pay tax on crypto, but I still had crypto. So I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure it was it was opposite to how shares work, right? If you had stocks, you only pay on those if you sell them and make a profit. I'm pretty sure. And then you obviously you pay on the dividends as well. When you sell or swap any transaction, uh, whether to fiat or not. I don't know what fiat means. Because to me, I'm just thinking a car company at this point. Stolo dudes, right. Okay, I see. Maybe it was because I sold and swapped. Maybe it's because I swapped swapped through. I don't know. It might be because I swapped. I'm not sure. That that might be it. Because I'm pretty sure I still had crypto in my wallet like the next year. Use your XSID. I feel like Salami, you're, all you're doing is suggesting more illegal shit for people to do. That's, like, you're just adding fraud on top of everything else now. Grow to demons. I don't know if I want to do Zami. Maybe we should do a bit. Let's do some, uh, let's do some TOA. Hi, guy, if you can. What's up, Pond Poland? How you doing, man? It's worth it based on the fact that people accept it, not that it's backed by anything. Yes. True. Do enough crimes at once, eventually it evens out and it's not legal anymore. I... No, I feel like you just end up accumulating more time.
It might, it might, maybe it was because I swapped. I'm trying to remember what I did now. It was it was through Coin Spot. Was it Coin Spot? Yeah, I think it was Coin Spot. I can't remember what the fucking coin was that it has, but I, I'm pretty sure I swapped swapped to it, and then I had to pay. I think I, I had to. I definitely had to pay tax on some dumb shit, and I was like, "Oh, that's bullshit," because I forgot I fucking had it. Like, I genuinely, like, forgot I had the fucking, the, the crypto. Real trade? Nah. You don't shit where you eat, dude. I was gonna real trade, I go play, like, World of Warcraft or something that I don't care about. Love committing crimes, thank you very much. I just don't like jail all that much. Yeah, well, jail's the hard part, right? I reckon I'd go right in jail. Yeah, but you're also like probably going to be the biggest cunt the jail's ever seen. Get myself a little pet. Yep, call him Billiam. Call, call him Bing, Bing Chilliam. Little Bing Chili. And see how many chilies of a little Bing Chili could Billy Bing Chili Bong Billy. Oz tax free threshold for gains must be none. Um, Oz tax rates, I don't think are too bad. I mean, I, I think they're actually pretty decent when I hear about America because we don't get taxed on top of tax dollars once we've already been taxed with more tax. But no one likes paying tax because it's fucking cringe, but you've got to, right? Alright, what do you say we turn the invocation level up a tiny bit? I think we do walk for it, eh? Put on the 40 minute timer. Because I'm pretty sure our last few raids have been like well, well under... Like, we're getting 33 minute raids, but it, does the timer go off at the challenge time or the total raid time? Our best is 37, and we, and we got three PBs in a row yesterday. Insanity? No, insanity's cringe cunt. Fuck insanity. Let, let's put on, let's put on the, 10, the the 40 minute invo and see how we go. And the best part is, is we're gonna have people come to the chat and be like, and King, you said time invocations are really bad, what are you uh? And if you do that, you're gonna wake up in the morning with my nuts in your mouth, okay? You're gonna be sucking my nuts. So, it's gonna be really fucking difficult to breathe. You're only gonna breathe out of your fucking nose, alright? But even that's gonna be difficult, because my fucking fat dick's gonna be clogging that shit. Promise? This is not- I'm not trying to turn you on here, cunt. Alright? It's gonna be like Yakov's big dangling nuts just fucking hang in there, that's it. Forehead full of shaft, that's it, dude. It's just gonna be like a- Oh! That's all it's gonna be like. It's gonna go red now. <laughs> Should I get uh, Volatile Staff or Vertiswaves? Let's go Vertiswaves, dude. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Oh fuck! I just fucking Sarah brood. Shit! Alright, let's do it. We've seen the tower pick, I'm pretty sure that's attempted murder. 
Good. Big Mac Mill and Six Nuggets riding shortly. Hell yeah, dude. All right. Let's focus up, boys. We've got 40 minutes. Only 88 likes. We've got 102 likes. I think if we hit 150 likes by the end of the raid, we should see a purple today. Surely. Any purr pussies? Surely, boys, surely. Wasting time, wasting time, wasting time, wasting time. Let's go. Easy. You got paid tonight and she got an extra for me? Huh? Oh, I don't have to bash the wife for a little bit. Oh, nice. Huge. Got the extra pizza for you. Good. She's in her place. Woman do good job. <coughs> that means Fergo can spend his night being chilly -a -ming. Fuck, I love not having upset stomach in this room. Big chilling! Big fucking Ruby Bolts, boys. That's what we want. Big chilliums. Big Bing Chilling. Never get any damn bolts to pot. The king gets like 30 rubies every time he does Zebak. Yeah, then I get zero inside the fucking wardens. No big chilies when a chili could Billy. Jaggy, what's up, dude? Stream privilege? There's no stream privilege in this fucking stream. I can tell you that now for free. Let's go. Turbo mode. Time to go sucko mode. Just looking for here? Anything but a fang. Kind of rough. 
Not gonna lie to you, dude. NGL. Light bearer? Light bearer would be fucking great, dude. Of course. Of course, man. Go for a Zemi case yesterday with your perfect updated guide. Hit 0 20 times and eat all food, but what? Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, I need to, um, I need to, I got a Greater Demon Slayer task, and I'm, I, I skipped my last Greater Demon Slayer task, but I might keep it this time, provided we do some Zami on stream. Um, so, look at that fucking, hell yeah. So, um, that's what I'm thinking we probably try to do, is, um, some Zami at some point today or tomorrow. I'm gonna hate it, but we gotta do it. It's gotta be melee, of course. But it is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't. Log and Ma, what's up, Misty Bong? Inco, how you doing, man? Glad to see you update on the car. Hell yeah, I should have another few episodes coming over the next few weeks. To, uh, this week, I'm doing like the last bit of like the body work, I guess, for uh, for now until we turn, uh, put some black stripes on it. Very nice. Got the muscle set for the Frostman equipment. How much do you reckon I'll get merch buying and selling it off right now? Uh, not a lot. How much is, how much is this Frost Moon set? It's only like a cup of mil, right? So it's not that expensive, right? Bong Billiam Williams, silly bongy wongy chili willy bong billy. I agree, hundred percent. Yeah. Fucking this bird thing up, dude. Hell yeah. It's fine. Gotta get the extra hits in. Is Fergo your favorite mod? Yeah, no, me and Fergo don't like each other. I, it's just Fergo is... He's... He's, um... He's very tall. And that is a problem. Basically, what he does, he does frequent trips around Australia and does this thing that's called standovers. Um, that's why Will's not been successful at, uh, like, taking anything off the Iron Man more than a Fang at the moment. Like, the group Iron still has the Tebow. Because you just have this fucking 7 foot 2 behemoth of a fucking creature. Lit like, a fucking freak of nature showing up at your fucking door. And you just, it's just not worth it, dude. Intimidation. He's mob by default, basically. Mob by genetics. He doesn't even skill Fisher. True, dude. Fuck Fisher. Fisher level one on Earthshaker. Bad, dude. Hundred percent. That's so dumb, just run, he can't catch you, make sure it's not downhill. He's not, no, I didn't say he was fat. Like, his fucking strides. What, 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 you're gonna run from someone who, whose, like, legs are the same size as you? 
I have to step like three, four times and he just fucking... He, he, it's just a short fucking nudge for him, dude. Hop, skip, and a sprink. Can't track what is it? It's called um It's uh it's called Basket Flies by DJ Cumberbund. Oh I just MVP'd that room. Perfect Kefri as well And Perfection of Scarab is eleven fucking look at that points dude let's go and I got MVP in that room This guy has full Torva plus BCP legs Void Waker Me wearing Darok That's it No Avernic No nothing Fucking Fire Cape MVP Sit There you go. Now. I'm the high guy That's how you do it son of a purple. Nah, that's all the RNG for the day gone boys. That's it Hi guys pulling the shadow and then that's it GG no re This is it. Good luck. Nice some hard guy to chill and donate MVP to you like that. It's very nice of him, isn't it? No, it's, it's kind of like, I mean, he's taken out the melee, right? So I have a decent chance at overtaking him. I was just pulling off some fat hits there. It's cool on the combat tile, so that's mad. Really happy with that. Good luck. Fuck! Yellow clicked. Huge. Right, we're gaming now, it's fine. What am I drinking? Peppy Max, dude, come on. How many billies could a bing bong chili if a chili could billy bong chili him? Man, the shadow is turning up today, dude. Look at that damage. Holy fuck. Tell you what, the fucking... The trident's here too. He's saying how you going. Oh my god. It's a disaster. Holy shit. We both did the same thing. It's all good. Five and fast. I'm gonna let you, um, let you do this one. <coughs> Too high to commentize and one boss is crazy. Yes, not so. It's very good. New favorite stream song? It's not bad, eh? Big hit. 
Nice. Volume up a little. Oh, that's right. No email tour nearby my hometown. It's given me an excuse to visit home. All the two thousands bands like Panic at the Disco, Yellow Card, Lit, Fallout Boy, Blink One Hundred Two. Very nice. You not taking any damage? Nah, mate. We're gaming. Even off prey, dude. Just don't give a fuck. Salami, thank you for the fuck gifted. Appreciate Hello, it, mate. Daddy. Shasty, hi, peeps. Unkempt soldier, Timmy Sullivan, and Sid Wilson, GZ. Hell yeah, hi, peeps. Got to play, buddy. Let's go. Big chillin' dude. Bing chillin'. <coughs> Excuse me. What level invo should you butterfly the sky? Honestly, uh, every invo because it's good practice. But I think really, like, if you don't have a shadow, you can't, like, you should always do it, but it's the best with the shadow because of the... You're not then losing, like, damage, technically. I think I just ruined perfect Akka. Yeah, probably. Just got hit. I got hit then. I think I may have ruined it. Cheese is having mother. Thinks all the time. Has nothing to think about except thought. Dory is fucking great live. Yeah, I think most people will fuck with Dory, hey? Like Australians are always fucking punching Dory's dude, punching darts. By thoughts, I mean specifically. Chatter in the skull. Bing William. Impulsive repetition of words. Of reckoning and calculating. I'm not saying that thinking is bad. Pillar. Pillar Manila. so-called civilized peoples have increasingly become crazy and self-destructive because through excessive thinking they have lost touch with reality. That's to say, we can choose science with the real world. Hello. Most of us would have rather money than tangible wealth. And a great occasion is somehow spoiled for us unless photographed. 
And to read about it the next day in the newspaper is oddly more fun for us than the original event. This is a disaster. For as a result of confusing the real world of nature with mere signs, we are destroying nature. We are so tied up in our minds that we've lost our senses. Time to wake up. What is reality? Obviously, no one can say because it isn't words. It isn't material, that's just an idea. Reality is... The room's fucking over. Oh, there was a throw still. Oh, right. Dude, I thought the room was over, so I fucking didn't do it. Jesus. I was going to say, there's no way. I'm not trying to put you down. Next time. It's an expression of you as you My room isn't that bad. Also impossible to wipe. No, it's absolutely possible to wipe. We need to survive. If you say it's impossible to wipe, then you are just like, I, I've never died before because I've never done it. How many chilies could a bing bong chili in? Two dollars for the shadow luck. Thank you, the mole fiend. Appreciate that. Love the picture. Darth Maul's fucking legend, dude. Hell yeah. Let's fucking go, man. Oh. I didn't realize he swapped aggro, my bad. Percent chance even before Bubba is nuts. I only get like two percent chance period. No, it's not about higher level invos. It's about more people as well. So you want to get um, you want to you want to be raiding with more people as well as. Give some of that boy puss. Hi, Dora, for the say the luck. Thank you. Jesus Christ. We nearly wiped then. That was so close to a fucking wipe. Come to earth to run the place. Drop a gas, I got my mace. Now 
That that was really fucking close to a white dude. <coughs> Taco Cats, what's up, man? Who you game with? This is just a high guy, Anon. His name is Anonymous AF in the chat. Well, got you looking away. No, no, I was just trying to set up Red X and I got hit by the boulder at the same time as the ground slam and took like 80 damage. Running another? Yeah, you want to jump in? Yeah, go on. Yeah, of course. Tear today? Yes, there'll be a tear list today. Just leave now? Yeah, alright, we'll pull out of the raid. No point continuing if Fergus coming, eh? Do you want to do item tier list again? No, no, it's a hunter tier list today. <clears throat> we'll still skip two, we have plenty of time to skip. Yeah, Hunter tier list. Is it pitch crime? Very jealous of you. Never had an ancestral rope type in my life. It's one purple I really want. Never had one. I absolutely deserve one. The amount of fucking pants I've pulled. Over 200 KC dry? It's not a bad drop, then, eh? Uh, I'm behind the tick, damn.
Alright, yep, yeah, we'll skip two. We got plenty of time, dude. We're gaming. <clears throat> Fans can blend if music is too loud. True. Is this a Britney? Is this Britney or a remix? I can't turn it up, no. Um, I mean, how much louder do you want the music? Is it, is it not loud enough? <clears throat> but no, it's actually a Kane West uh, remix. My shit set up. I wouldn't have a clue. Like I think it's louder in my ears than any than it is on the stream. I'm not sure. Either pet or coconut milk and toad flax seed. This run, okay. If it's not, if if there is no toad flax seed, coconut milk or pet in my chest, you have to get a plate body, Muhammad. Okay. Yeah, you have to fork out one American dollar, become a member. Wish I had to let me do three jads before I spent 70 hours in Inferno. Yeah, they wouldn't let you. Fair trade. I think it's a fair trade. Absolutely. Since you want to make fucking retard calls, put, some, put, put your money on it. One dollar white paper money. Exactly. No dice, what's up, dude? Pitch crown, thank you for the five gifted. Let's go. It's Brandon o Bud the Wiser, nice name. Hello, Daddy. Miranda Beans. Beans! Uh, David Williams and Mitchell Watkins, GZ on the play bodies. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Not a single Ruby Bob proc that wasn't on a skull, boys. Literally not a single Ruby Bolt proc. My purple chance is really low here. I did die in Baba, didn't I? Fair. This is insane, man. You had a Ruby spec on Warden? I, it was on, um... Oh, shit. It was on, um... The Skull, wasn't it? I forgot we were doing Skulls, my bad. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I expect when I hit a, when I hit a skull, not when I hit the warden. Sword I saw hundred hits, but I don't think so. I could be wrong, but I don't think I hit one. Did? Okay. Hey Anya, how are you man? Still one in the whole fight is really bad. I'm, I'm, my accuracy is really shocking here, eh?
Good luck. <coughs> Good luck. Never lucky. Hoji Pat, what's up? No toad flax, no milk, no pet. Appreciate the plate, buddy Muhammad, dude. Thank you. Got spooned pretzel at 70 KC and just doing some Valmore stuff. Nice, dude. Thinking of Inferno or Quiver soon? I reckon go for the Inferno. Fuck it. You suck at getting a purple, yeah, and you suck at being someone that people can tolerate in life, so I don't know which one I'd rather. One sec, need a new start? No worries. I need to adjust my pants anyway. Getting it fucking done. Like Get chat. it done like a chat. Tough mud, 3D. My man. Welcome. Cheers, cunt. <clears throat> Purple this time, Joe? Yeah. Uh, fair girl, pull one. Oh, boys, boys, boys. Let's get some more likes on the stream. 150 is a purple. Okay, it's purple territory. Play the song I asked now? Oh yeah, of course, absolutely. Yep. Let's find out what this song is called. It'll be on after this. Second VARD pet and no rare, draws at VARD. Fuck, bad luck, what KC? Alright, we good? Alright, give me two seconds, hold on. It's still, um, it's still a 40 minute timer on this raid, by the way. I've been uh, pretty good lately, Jay. How are you, man? Muhammad, welcome. Getting I appreciate it, man. Done. You're a legend. Like a That's what we like to see around here. You're a champion. It's gonna be the best dollar you ever spend online, I guarantee it. Welcome aboard, dude. What a unit. It's better to do Bofa or Sebo Ruby Bolt's Last Warden. Uh, uh, it would probably be Bofa, but I, I think the correct answer for both is Fang. Reset? Mate, you're wasting fucking pre pots, dude. You realize I've only got a hundred. I've only got a hundred and. Uh, how many? I've only got a hundred and... Uh... hundred and sixty-five cooked anglerfish, dude. I've only got seventy pre pots. Come on, cur. Getting it fucking done. Like a chat. <laughs> Hoji Pat, welcome to the membership. Thank you. I appreciate that, guys. You're all awesome. Every single one of you. Past and present members. Thank you. I appreciate that. Shout you out again. Player in house. Hosting bless. My man. Six wheels. Let's go. Let's get some fucking purples. Uh, free for all raid, yeah, boys. Since me and Fergo both Iron Man. Easy as cool. No problem. All right. Biggest palm tree, this one here.
Well, City Times have got to sleep, uh, but good luck on purple. Hey, no worries, Hoji. I appreciate that. Thank you very much for becoming a channel member. I really appreciate that. Best of luck. Enjoy your sleep. Give me some Bing Chilliams. Uh, that jug is in the water. Oh dear, at Warden's played the 007 Golden Eye theme song, so hard to not spit out a perp. Yeah, but if I don't get a purple, then what? Like, if, if it doesn't spit out a purple... What does that say about your, your little tradition here? King said, I'm awesome. I have the biggest parasocial on right now. You need to stop. smell a wee in here. Just needs to lower the drop rate for the damn KQ head. Nah. Welcome to the grind. <clears throat>
I don't feel so triggered now knowing that I'm on 170 right now. It, it's um, it's guaranteed at 256 regardless, right? That should be fine. Yeah, we need to, I, I've got to re-block this Melia, sorry. No way that hit me, cunt. Well, it's blocked, that's for sure. Hey boys, good luck with that Major, hey? doesn't have a raid where one mistake can completely fucking ruin the whole thing. Got a fat auto of pasta salad for lunch today? Hell yeah, dude. Oh my god. Oh, we're fucked. I've ruined it. I'm sorry. Pray down. Dead. Yeah. I fucked that up, boys. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I forgot about the poo poo. Yeah. It's my fault. It's it's um it's it's a good raid. It's just like that's what I love about TOA. It's one small mistake will completely throw the raid in the bin. Simple mistake. Honest mistake. And then the raid is just completely fucked. It's good. So it's 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 been designed exceptionally well. It's been, they've done a very good job designing designing a designing a raid that's absolutely fucked if you don't do it. You know. Love brick wall content. Doesn't Tob do the same? No, no. Tob is far more forgiving in that aspect. If everyone in your team dies, except you and Tob, you can absolutely still finish a room slash raid. In TOA, you've got to fucking, you've got to fucking push a turd out, cunt, for sure. Oh. Go, yeah, jump on mine, Fergie, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> can blue helm group iron d iron and become a normal iron without penalty i don't know i think you have to go green i'm not sure you might have to go booger helm Back once 
Can't go from good to normal, there you go. Gotta go Green Helm, bad luck. Oh, you can go regular iron if you sacrifice all your gear, right? You have to, you have to turn your account and basically fresh restart. You keep the stats though, but you pretty much wipe all your gear. Any bad iron is a green iron. Just real trade on a main instead account instead of pretending. Some people don't have a choice of green helms, but we don't let them uh, debate it. You just straight up fucking put them in the bin and say, no, fuck you, booger helm. <coughs> Boogers are gross. Does anyone else get offended when their fang spec hits a fucking zero? It's disgusting, man. Chub boy, what's up? Even, we, even more when it's two biggest spec zeros in a row? Oh dude, that's fucked. What's your favorite raid? Um, probably... Cox, I don't know. It changes between Cox and Todd depending on what I'm doing, and how dry I am at the moment. Um, no, I'm dry everywhere. Does Rain Dog give you more range strength or just accuracy? It goes both. Ranged attack is considered uh, strength and accuracy. There's a fucking big Chilliams here. <clears throat> Look at regular iron, you can maintain rank group if you lose your items. Oh, that doesn't turn into a regular iron? It just because you're a blue helm? That sucks. I think ranked group but not prestige is fucking retarded. Whichever J mod thought of that, like, like I don't know how you how you make decisions like that in this day and age and be like, yeah, this is the only possible way. Like you must have zero fucking initiative. Like 30 seconds faster than the last rate, huge. Come to cost the back to back to as cancer. I don't know if I want to do a group cox at the moment. I want to be greedy and snap a, a purple for myself in chambers. I, I've seen a lot of purples on this account in cox and I've not gotten many of them. I appreciate the invite though.
Hey, man, Raid's worth it. Yep. Absolutely. Was I turned over 30 minutes? Because you said sit. And if you say sit, you get fucking sat. So sit the fuck down. Think about it next time before you try to talk shit. Alright, something that's not bad, eh? Oh, I thought you were wearing a fucking dragon skirt then, Fergo, cunt. So I could put this man on a budget. This isn't casual racism, this is professional racism, exactly. This is industrial racism. Fang or Arc to uh, Crew? Um, Arc, Arc Light's better than Fang at Crew.
No armor, no heals, so I win. I'll tell you, I'll do that when my fucking career is over, because that sounds like some fucking last resort content. <clears throat> Finally finished learning diplomacy, feels good on iron, opens up so much quality of life content. Yeah. It's really good for Guardians of the Rift too, man. Like Guardians of the Rift without it does suck. I don't even use pouches at that point. I just go in raw. G Day, oh, Grammy Slice, how you doing, man? You go pair patches for one Abyssal Pearl? Yeah. And it takes like fucking 50 games to get 13 Abyssal Pearls. I'm not spending even one Abyssal Pearl repairing pouches, cunt. You insane? You don't profit Abyssal Pearls if you repair them in the Guardians of Rift. Fuck that. You gotta be on fucking drugs, dude. Hell no. Sorry, but that is a fucking lukewarm 40 IQ take right there. You are out of your damn mind if you think I'm spending those abyssal pearls. I got 76 rune crafting on this account. I'm still need I still need like 50 before uh 50 something pearls to get the last piece of the outfit. Why not just waste uh, rune crafting skill crate? Then it won't degrade. Uh, because you touch yourself at night. Bing Chilliam. The rain often in Western Australia? All the time, man. Yeah. Winter time, it's fucked. Absolutely. It's great. Any problems then? Not yet. Who doesn't touch themselves at night? True. I see the flaws in my design. Fair enough. Plus, Australia is the best place to be born, so far away from everything. Well, I feel like being born into money would be better, personally. But, it's not bad. I mean, you'd be, it comes with free citizenship, which is nice. Over 150 likes means uh, this is a purple. It's likely, yeah. Over over 150 likes. Uh, every like over 150 increases the purple chance by 1%. So if you hit the thumbs up button now, the purple is likely because of you and you get to tell your parents about it. They're going to throw you a party. Which would be fucking huge. 
<coughs> we can get 250 likes, it's 100% chance for purple. Sure. I love the Zero Supply Arca run, it's great. No pressure boys, but if we do the come phase without getting hit, I think we get perfect Akka. Watch me get hit now. Gussy! It's alright. Next time, eh? Bing Chilliam! Does it require all invos? Because we got the perfect, um, Kefri one and we don't have all those invos on. I think, I think you just have to make no mistakes. We've, we've at least leveled up once. I think there's two different levels to it. I could be wrong, but the, the, the Kefri ones we got, we don't have Medic on and we, and we got it. Oh my God. Oh my God. I, I'm muted still. Did it? Then Vent. Fuck, I just missed that, sorry. My bad. 
It's my fault. I wasn't even paying attention. I was focusing on not fucking up the poison. Ah, oh, my dickhead. <clears throat> that sucks. Big Chilium. See the boys, boys vids with a friend of Jordy's about Secret CIA base. No, I heard about it, but I haven't checked it out yet. Three men increase the odds of purple by quite a bit. Right? Um, yeah, should do. Watch out for the gap, it is on. I mean, even if I get the exact same purple chances I do in a duo as I do in a trio, technically yes, because there's a third person getting all those extra points, you know? So what I like, what, what am I getting without dying? I think de Deathless I get about 33, uh, sorry, three point, I had about two, one in two, one in 28 and a half chance last night, right? That's like 3.4% or some shit. So even if I get like close to that this raid, then absolutely, because there's a whole extra person. Are coming along good? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. For sure. Getting more sand done this week? Yes. Um... Yes, I'm uh... getting a lot of uh, sanding and cutting done this week. So, sanding for some cutting and polishing next week. This weekend, sorry. So, during the week, like tomorrow, I'm probably going to sand the whole car 2,000 uh, grit. Wet sand it. And then do a. Um... Do a 3,000 sand on Wednesday, probably Thursday. Saturday's come time. Good luck, boys. Oh, was that a fucking 68 from the beach, dude? Oh, that's going to fucking pound town. Holy shit. Blowpipe job if I've ever seen one. 
Zero. Zero. Kind of card you have? I have a 1979 Chrysler Valiant Regal SE CM model. Shit balls. I was dying those give me so much joy, I don't know why, yeah, it's not a bad sound, eh? Probably you're about to get three shadow drops, world first, yeah, it's gonna be huge, eh? Patrick, what's up? Good to see you, man. No purples, nah. Party at the fucking core, boys. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've got a bit of cum stuck in my throat. <clears> throat> Alright. Skip two. Bing! Chilling! Bing bong! Chilly willy! Got back to back Bing chilies there, boys. Bing chilliums. Can you review combat achievements of this? Review them? Uh, like, what do you mean? I'm not elite yet, if that helps. Let me just go through and just tell you what I've got. I'm gonna lie, dude, I don't even know what I've got. <clears throat> so, are you missing from TOA? Oh, oh, a fuck ton, dude. Shit loads. I, I, like, fucking everything, like, all of them. Assume I haven't got shit, dude. I can tell you that right now. Sometimes you gotta churn the ambrosia to get, uh, it goes too fast. Excuse me? I don't know what that means.
No insanity? Yeah, never insanity, dude. Fuck insanity. <clears throat> Not doing insanity when I got a fucking crossbow, dude. No. Too much RNG just for like people who have zero fucking KC and top and couldn't beat me in a 1v1 being like, uh, insanity? What are you scared? No, I'm smart. It's different. Can I always fang him? I could. Yeah, no, I, I could, absolutely. But, no. It's it's just better. I'm doing a 325 without insanity. Like, that's fucking great. Logan Knight, thank you very much uh, for the five bucks, dude. Doing the content. Here's a drink for Sammy whenever you get. Uh, whatever you can get for a fiver. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. I should be able to get a drink for a fiver, I reckon, next UFC. Would you do a bofa? I wouldn't do Insanity unless I was doing like a 350 or like a 375 onwards. There's no point turning on Insanity. Double being Chillions, by the way. There's no point turning on Insanity because it doesn't provide enough points. Uh, like on the boss's HP for what it's worth. Like if you have bad RNG, you're kind of just working too hard for no reason. I'd rather make the rest of the raid more difficult and enjoyable because there's more going on, more challenging. And then you get to Wardens and it's fucking, it's just a, it's a home run. Give me some of that you know? boy puss. Licking the content, here is a drink or semi whatever <clears throat> you can get for a fiver. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Like, why, why add more, like, variables that could wipe you out when you can just, like, float to the fucking end easily, like this? You know? My ego is big enough. I, I don't need to, like, have this insanity inflation because I already know I can do insanity. I've done it many times. So I, I don't need to, like, you know... Make take unnecessary risks in a raid that I already don't enjoy doing. Eliminate the risk, and then you uh, see more KC. But you can do a shoot during Sandy Run. I probably have done, if I'm honest with you. Who's selling? When's that coming out? Twenty twenty-five, probably. What's up, Reba? How you doing, man? Is it work? Just lurking? No worries, man. Good to see you, dude. Try to keep insanity off. Yep. Same reason, smooth sound. Yeah, you just fucking get to Wardens and it's a free KC. If you die in Wardens without insanity and wipe, then you deserve to not get the KC, absolutely. Look at this fucking single digit hits cunt. Expert Raider, 50 KC, huge. That's a Grandmaster task, 50 KC, coward. Good luck. It is a purple for Fergo, of course. The purple magnet gets a purple again. I hope you get a fucking ward. I hope you get a ward, cunt. I hope it's a ward or a ring. Fair enough. Do you have chat chat? Or is that new? Not bad. Oh, you got thread two? Standard. Let's go, dude. GZ. Very nice. Nice pants. Eight pant, indeed. Robo instantly, can I have them? 
I'm one and done, I think. You don't want to back-to-back -back it? Thanks for purple. That's pretty standard. All good if you don't want to do another. But if you want to back-to-back, -back, we can. What do you hate most about TOA? How shit it is. <laughs> Monkey room, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna, that's gonna be me for TOA as well today. Hi guy, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. <clears throat> thank you for rating. I'll go to a tier list for you guys real quick. Shut up. Hunter tier list? Yes, this is the Hunter tier list. So, basically, uh, this was made before Valamor came out, but Anon has kind of gone and updated the tier list for us because, well, that's just what Anon does. He makes the tier list and he does a good job with it. And today, we're going to rate Hunter from S to F, starting with not, not being able to use the paint bucket. That's cool. All right. Starting off, we have the Hunter's Guild. Now, I think I speak for... Why is there so many things for Hunter? 70 items? Oh my god. Okay, all right. Well, let's get into this then. Um, I think I speak for everyone when I say the Hunter's Guild is in fact B tier. Okay, pretty good place. It's not the best. It's not the worst. Um, it's got a bank, which is pretty cool. I think it could do with a bank downstairs. Um, I don't really see much value in it otherwise because the shop is the exact same as the shop in Yanil minus the Hunter's Crossbow as well. Um, it's got rumors. Good for you. Uh, otherwise, it's kind of like... I mean, you don't do any hunting in the Hunter's Guild. You do farming in the Farming Guild. You do woodcutting in the Woodcutting Guild. You do mining in the Mining Guild. You don't do hunting in the Hunter's Guild. It's kind of just a hub to get told to fuck off somewhere else. I mean, you can do the antelopes downstairs, but you've got to be 91... Or you've got to be 75 for the butterflies. So it's like, quill into the Majors Guild? Yeah, but I think you can go downstairs to the Majors Guild and hit cunts at least. So um, I think if there was a bank downstairs at least, it would be nice. And if there was like, uh, even like a Chin Chomper area, like grey and red Chin Chomper area, just a small one maybe. It's no Ranger Guild. <laughs> it is no Ranger Guild, that's for sure. But I think it's pretty B tier. Um, I like the, the bird platform thing on the top. I would like it if I didn't have to go up there to charge my whistle. Birdhouses would have been great, yeah, even if it was like two birdhouses. Like, there, there, there's, there, that'd be awesome for me. But I think it's pretty BT. I think that is a fair rating for the Hunter's Guild. Next we have, whatever the fuck this is. I don't know what it is, but it's ugly as shit. So this is going in the D tier. And we've got the, um, this is the skin sack, right? So this, this holds furs when you're hunting. Now, to the best of my knowledge, this is pretty much dead on release once you get it to the biggest size. No, this isn't the meat set. The meat set looks different. This is the... Oh, this is the rumors. Oh, the hunter's have for rumors. Right. Okay, well, this varies from A to S. No, I think it's S because I think all the rewards are great. You get herbs. You get... Um, what are they called? Bird's nests. You get meats, which are great. Then you don't have to stack them up too much. But the best thing you get is bone shards. Bone shards are big, man. So we, we take the uh, the rumors, rewards are S tier. I really like them. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is. So th that's just that same D tier. Uh, next we have imps, hunting imps. This is a tedious task and they are becoming more and more relevant by the year. So they're pretty E tier. Fuck hunting imps. Um, especially since I don't think you can... It's just like one per box or something, right? It's really They're, they're kind of crap. All the rewards are great. Puts reward a D tier. Well, what is this? Is this, oh, is this the hunter kit? It looks like shit. Why the fuck is, are you sure? It looks nothing like the helmet. It, uh, well, okay, well, if it's the hunter's kit, we'll put it in, um... You can't put the hunter's kit in S tier, it's not allowed. I think the hunter's kit can go in, um... Maybe B tier, I think. 
It's the guild outfit? Right, okay. So I think the, the hunter's kit, you, you're not allowed to put it in S tier. I think, and I don't think I can put it A tier either because it exactly right spooks it because it doesn't provide extra XP. No 2.5% XP. It's really hard to justify an outfit. It doesn't give extra XP. I know it gives you a better chance at catching shit. Um, I think it's like a 2.5% chance at, uh, to not fail hunting, which is irrelevant in my mind. And... Um, and then there's a, an extra 5% chance to get your rumor item, which is pretty cool. But if it provided XP, you could probably argue A tier. Otherwise, it's kind of just better to wear graceful. Extra catch rate and extra room drop rate. Yeah, it's not really anything special. Um, I didn't even know that you could fish for Hunter. So I'm going to let you guys fill me in with that before we go further. Uh, this is the rabbit from Prif um, that you have to kill, which I don't think is Hunter either. So that's pretty D tier. No, I reckon that's even worse than Imps. That's dog shit. Um, that's F tier right there. Um, you got Herbie. Herbie is without a doubt S tier. No, Herbie is A tier. Sorry. The only reason Herbie is A tier is because sometimes, not very often, but sometimes I feel like it's a little bit too long. I feel like it'd be good if that um, ring worked on Herbie where it could show either more of the track at once or has a chance to complete the track. I think that wouldn't be too bad. Fishy Fishy Hunter is what you is what I do on my new accounts. What, what is Fishy Fishy Hunter? So the fish where you farm your seaweed? Fish drift nets. I've never done drift net fishing. Is it good? Would you say B is a fair place for drift net fishing chat? I'll let you rank this one. For fishy fishy hunter. I think Herbie would be better if that ring worked on it because the ring's completely irrelevant otherwise. Unless you want to do it for rumors now, I guess. Would you say B B is good for fishy fishy? Where's Race? No idea. He's not here, thankfully. Um, I don't know what these are the Karamja things, right? I don't think I've hunted these in my life. That's F tier. You reckon they're S tier? It's fishing to do, but tedious. Drift net for, is for Hunter. I'm gonna try that now. Apparently, I think B tier sounds right. It's terrible. I, I've never done it. It sounds pretty like birdhouse, but a few extra steps. Um, you've got different cabots here now. I can't identify which cabots are what. Um, I, I know these are the snow ones, but I think I think I speak for all of us when... So this is Deadfall. This is Deadfall. This is Deadfall. And then these two are the snare ones, right? That you have to hunt. In the bushes. Is that correct? The tracking. Driftnet's poo poo, especially for Iron Man. Right, okay. Pitfall and Deadfall are all an F. Well, hold on. Falconry cabots. These aren't falconry cabots. They're, they're somewhere else. These are deadfall cabots and shit, right? Light brown's dashing. Oh, mate, you might be right. Okay. Just great. It's great for mains. Just making nets is annoying. Right. Okay, I see. Fair. Maybe B tier is pretty solid then. So th this is this would be deadfall. This would be... It just says layer. I don't fucking know. Let's have a look. All right, what do we got here? We got Sabretooth, uh, we've got... Spotted Kebbit would be that spotted one there, right? Dashing Kebbit, Dark Kebbit I don't see on here. Oh no, these are your Kebbits here. Okay, no, these are all your Pitfall ones then. So we've got Prickly Kebbit. This is common kebit. This one here. No, this one's common kebit. Okay, that's F tier. Fuck common kebit. Tell you what, I think this is all pretty F tier kebit. Like, they're all kind of garbage. Let's not fucking try to split hairs here. All kebits are fucking shit. They really are. Like, they're, they're just not good. <laughs> they're really not. What the hell are the three types of ways to catch cabots anyway? They're just different environments. They really have no use? Yeah, they really do have no use and they, they are tedious and annoying. Um, the cats, I ain't gonna lie to you, dude. These guys, they're C tier, man. They're not bad. I just take an inventory full of teak logs and I just sit there fucking hitting them till I get my item. They're not bad. I like them. Um, these guys are a classic and I think therefore by default deserve to be at least C tier as well because they're pretty cool. There's the OG hunter outfit that did nothing. And then we've got salamanders, we've got black, orange, red, green, 
And I think all salamanders should be this size. So black is um, black C tier. Like you only do black if you've got brain damage. Red is uh, probably B tier because before bird houses, that was kind of the play if you wanted to get XP, but you didn't want to do chins. Orange is fucking cringe and green is even worse. All right. Next we have implings. Here we go. All right. Baby implings. F tier. Young impling. F tier. Gourmet impling. E tier. Earth impling. E tier. Essence impling. F tier. Cletic impling. B tier. Nature impling. F tier. Magpie impling. A tier. Ninja impling. D tier. Crystal impling. S tier. Dragon impling. A tier. Lucky impling. E tier. Pretty happy with those, right, guys? I don't think we can. I'd say that's pretty much everyone's opinion. Ninja impling good for hard clothes. Ninja impling garbage. All right, magpie better. I think that's pretty fair. Clue imps get a grade above D, basically. Kind of, I guess so. Sure, if you like. I, I just think this is pretty fair, like, based on rarity, based on value, based on loot, based on everything. Implings overpriced because of idiots farming them for clues. True. Crystal impling best? Yeah, pretty much. Crystal implings are best because they're on a timer uh, that, well, they're on, this, on a very easy timer to register. There's two per world. And they give probably some of the best loot for their level, to be honest. And they're just in proof. It's super easy. Like, lucky implings are garbage because they're super rare. And you just get, like, you longbows and shit all the time. Like, yeah, you can get a rare item, but most of the time you're just getting fucking fisted. Uh, dashing cabots. These used to be, like, my way to train fucking Hunter. They're A tier, dude. Dark cabots, they can go B. They're pretty much the same. And then the spotted cabots, we'll, we'll put these down in, like, D tier. These capes used to be, like, the, the fucking jam before Graceful came out. Middle of the night, crystal is, impling hunting is great. True. Imps suck for Hunter, but have good rewards, so it's how you're tiering this. Um, overall, they are higher, but for Hunter itself, you won't use them. Well, it's it's kind of just, a, it's a bit of everything. It's, it's, are they good for Hunter? Are they worth your time? Are they good XP? Is there any value in it? Like, I would rather do... But like and enjoyment too. I would rather hunt, I guess, stuff up here than I would stuff down here, you know? At the end of the day. Like I don't mind doing falconry at the end of the day, because it's actually not bad. I've never done the monkey hunter. I've heard it's actually not half bad. We're gonna put it in C tier unless someone wants to change that, but I've never done it, so I won't comment beyond that. What the fuck are these? Oh they, these are the tracking cabots. Right, okay, sorry. So these are deadfall cabots. Let me guys, these are deadfall cabots. They can go to E tier. These are tracking cabots. These are absolutely F tier. Fuck tracking cabots, dude. Deadfalls are pretty chill because you can literally just AFK and take wood with you and it's like 80% of the job is done. Sabretooth is Deadpool. Deadpool, really? Wait. This isn't, this isn't Hunter. Wait, no, these are Deadfall. These attract. These attract. These are deadfall. Yeah. Okay, my bad. Yes, wrong way around. Yeah. So I was... Yeah, no, no. Yeah, what I was saying was right. What I was doing was wrong. The ones where you have to search the bush and use a noose wand. Worst fucking content in the game. The ones where you put the sticks under the... Like the crucifix thing under the, the rock. And then you squish the cunts. They're not bad. Honestly, they're like... I, I fuck with them. I might even make them D tier. I'm feeling good. I fuck with them a little bit. Better than orange salamanders, that's a fucking sure. 100%. Pratch? Yeah, I agree. Alright, um, the whistle is actually really fucking good. S tier. Birdhouses. Oh god, you got every single fucking birdhouse here. Hold on, what is this? Chat, what the fuck is that? That looks like... Are these the new heads, the new spears? What's the new spear like? I've not used it yet. Hunter's kit. It was S tier, and then they patched it so you can't put black chins in it anymore. 
You're welcome, Jagex. Uh, so um, I'm gonna put it in F tier actually, because it's got a it's got a bird snare in the image, and you can't even put a bird snare bird snare stare in it. No, actually, I put it E tier. I lie, E tier, because you can store butterfly jars in it. So you go to the shop. You buy jars, deposit, buy jars, deposit, and that's the best way to bank jars so you can catch them off. So I will make it easier. It has one use in the game. Otherwise, garbage item. Um, I don't know who designed it, but like some J mods, I guess, are just designing things and not using their fucking brain. I'm not sure why. They must be working at fucking uh, Blizzard or some shit. All right. Next, we have butterflies. These are not, none of these are the new butterflies, right? These are just normal butterflies that are from like the original Hunter, is this correct? I'd say so, because there's no antelopes on here either. So, these are all shit. Chins, we've got grey chins. Grey chins are pretty much A tier. Red chins are pretty, pretty A tier. And black chins, um, now that you can't save them, they, the PKing is really inconvenient. I'm going to say they're Probably a C tier. Yeah, they're pretty C tier. It's like a crimson, so yeah, old butterflies, yep. Yeah. Um, the ferret, I think you do that once for the quest and you ignore it. That's uh, F tier. We've got bird snares. Yes, love the bird snares. Bird snares used to be the OG way to start hunter. It's what I used to do anyway. Bird snaring is a classic. You can set up multiple traps. It's E tier. It's fucking shit. Um, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is the, the fishing thing. These three are for the, the angler fishing, right? These three here. They're going in F tier for sure. I don't know what this is though. What the fuck is this? It's Teku Salamander. What's this do? This looks this looks pretty E tier to me. So I don't know what this spear is. New hunter weapon for pitfalls. But the new the new antelopes don't even fail. They have a 0% fail rate. So this sounds pretty e tier to me. Birdhouses. I think all birdhouses are probably going to be in the same bracket. Because all birdhouses are pretty decent. I mean, they're free XP. The whole birdhouse system is great. Um, even like the low level birdhouses are great because you don't spend much time on them. Like... You do one round of normals and you're onto oaks. You do like two, like one round of oaks, you're onto willows. Two rounds, three rounds of willows, you're onto teaks and so on. All bird houses are S tier regardless of gender. Exactly. Um, so there's a few hunter things missing from the new hunter area. That's okay. We will go over it now. We'll, we'll add them to the list real quick while we're all here. Okay. Because I think it's fair that we, we do them. I think Anon may have missed them. He just added the guild and stuff and the rewards. But it's okay. Um, try to find them on the website. All right, here we go. So we have pie foxes, sunlight moths, sunlight antelopes, moonlight moths, teku salamanders, moonlight salamand, uh, moonlight antelopes, and I think that's it. Yeah, those are all the new ones. <clears throat> Let me just grab them all real quick. All right. All right, they've all got black backgrounds. Don't care, didn't ask, all right? You know what we're looking at. Okay, now the only thing I haven't done here is the Moonlight Antelopes. So, and I don't have the level for them yet. So I think I'm just gonna put them aside for now. The Salamanders, I haven't done them either. Um, I've done the Moonlight Moths. Moonlight Moths, in my opinion, are fucking A tier, dude. The only thing I don't like about Moonlight Moths is um, you put them in the jars and they're 22 prayer points. You have to add food to make them 44 prayer points, like two doses. But the food can be a little tedious to get. But the Moths themselves, super easy, super convenient. I use them for Slayer all the time now. It's it's great. The Huntable Lizards for the Perilous Moons get added. Mm, oh, maybe that's what they are. I don't know. Maybe. Um... Sunlight antelopes never fail, and they give you sunfire shards. These are also A tier. They're, they're fucking free, man. 
I've not I've not done Moonlight Moss. I imagine they're the same as the so I've done not done Sunlight. I imagine they're the same as Moonlight, except in my opinion, shitter. So we're gonna go C tier. Um, Pyre Foxes, I think, are pretty. I mean, they're deadfalls, so we're gonna go D tier. I mean, they're not really that special. I haven't done the Salamanders. I saw some guy doing it. They look pretty good. Decent XP. We're gonna put it in B tier. I think that's pretty fair. And the Antelope. This must be the exact same as the Sunlight one, but Moonlight. So why not? You just get better ammo. Did the Huntable Lizard? Sorry, I already I read that out. My bad. Moonlight Antelope's C or D. Not bad to do. Convenient that you have. You don't have to leave the guild. Fast rumor. Do they ever fail? Sunlight Tickless Food? Not anymore, no. They were, but not anymore. Pyrefox has four total spots per world. They deserve to be lower than Kevin's, in my opinion. Did they not fix them? If you never fail, then the, then the antelope's are fucking S tier, man. Or A tier. The E tier lizard is aerial fishing. Oh, good. Then it's E tier. Then put them down there. Then we'll put the Pyrefox down there so you guys can shut up. All right? That is the hunter tier list there, boys. Anything from, like, C upwards is worth hunting. Anything from D below, just leave it and let it die. Unless it's a rumor, then sit the fuck down. That's the tier list. Thank you, Anon. Time to move on. All right. You're welcome, boys. Never been a fan of Firefox. Fair enough. Yeah, I've been more of a uh, edge sort of person. Right. Um, I have a Greater Demon Slayer task. I don't want to do Krill, but I think I've got to send a couple KC... Um, so I think we, we go for it boys. What do you reckon? Give it a crack? Yeah, I don't want to be doing it, but I think I'm gonna have to um, Shit, yeah I think that's the play. To be honest with you, I'm not sure. In the same boat as me, You've got a god dungeon task as well. Keep avoiding cruel. I'm, I'm gonna do like a couple of kills, then I'll just skip the slayer task. But gotta give it a crack. Knocking gets me every time. What knocking? You don't really take brews here, do you? Just kind of take hard food and send it, right? Like, is that basically the play for Krill? I don't know. Isn't Krill chill with Crystal Bofa? It is, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure what the best way to go about it, like, food-wise here is. I'm pretty sure you want to avoid... Maybe I don't need to take two st super combats. Let's be fucking real here. I'm pretty sure I just want to avoid brewing down. We're gonna fucking die. I'm not forgetting any banana, am I boys? We've got Zami item. Let me know if I am. Oh, I didn't eat my anglerfish. Oops. I thought I did. Silly old Willy. Oh, if we have a crossbow? No, you can't. The crossbow is too slow.
Get about to drop a like and fuck off. No worries, Jacob. Got an interview in a couple hours. Oh, good luck on the interview, man. That's huge. GZ in advance. Someone's already here. What sort of combat tasks do we have for this guy? We'll have a look in a sec. I think I've done a fair few. Should get rid of the KC requirement here? Mm, I don't know. It's hard to say, man. I don't think the KC requirement is that big of a deal. Um, I think what they should do is make it like, um, make it like it is in next. And I believe the way it works in Next is the more ancient items you're wearing, the more KC you get per kill. I could be wrong with that, but I believe you can get between like three and six. I think it's like a bare minimum of three. And the, the, the more gear you're wearing for that god, the more essence you get per kill. So if I was wearing the Zami Cape and the Unholy Blessing, I should technically be getting three per kill because one for the kill, then two extra for the two items. Next year to get more? Okay. Then it's random for the next. But why not do a system like that anyway? Or just do the next system. Like the reason next system works so well is because you, you don't spend too long just to get for one kill, right? Which demons weren't split to three different slayer tasks, so if I get bored wasting away black demons, I can go and nuke some lessers. Yeah, I guess so. But then that's like having you drag the split into separate tasks, you know? Big time waste? But what if I was just is not a time waste? No, it is a time waste for sure. <clears throat> I'm with you on, on that, absolutely. So in in the, in the next area, there is a chance that you, this there's a chance that you will get additional essence, and the chance is based on the number of Zerosian items equipped, with each giving a twenty percent chance to get an extra essence per kill. If player has, if players have five equipped, it's guaranteed an additional item. So you, you get three essence for a reaver, five essence for spiritual mages. Um, Warriors and Rangers have two essence and Next has five. And then, so if you're wearing two pieces of Ancient, you have a 40% chance to get an additional essence on top. That's not bad. Though they should just make it one essence per piece and then just put it everywhere. Midnight Sunlight and Blade are free, MSB upgrade and ammo, true. Bad luck for being behind though. Oh, some cunt here already. What the fuck? He just hit a zero. You fucking loser. Damn, he's running somewhere. He's got it tagged. Bad spot. Leave the dungeon completely apart from logging out and so we'll remove the essence. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like if you got more essence per kill, it'd be cool. Should be able to bank KC 
Um, if I, I want to ground at 400k, so each boss I should be able to keep that for whenever I want to use it. Yeah, I think that's uh, not good for bots, personally. Lag, there is no lag. Eki Keys should be replaced with KC. Eki Keys uh, just shouldn't exist. Alright, boys. I think I'm just going to pray melee the whole time, yeah? Spear on one KC. Ah, uh, we already got multiple KC. Three. Um... While the bodyguards are dead is garbage. Yeah, there's no way I'm doing anything like this. So we'll just uh, go for a couple kills and then skip the task. And they're all on the same game too. Got to freight range or something, eh? Don't know. Heal for Mother is the best outcome? No. Hust the spear is the best outcome, dude. Fuck the hilt. The hilt can get fucked. You got fang? You got brain damage, dude. What do you mean? Oh, you got fang, so you don't need a spear. What cunt? Good luck. Oh, never lucky.
so much damage, cunt. I said, what's up, dude? Been moving, uh, King, so I haven't been able to keep up with the content. How come I'm still thinking? Yeah, man, still a thing. Sal salad still solid slash weapon, though, to be fair. What do you mean? Just salad. He oh, both. Uh, why not use both? Because I don't have a bofa. I only have salad blood. Yeah. What's up, Pojo? How you doing, man? Yeah, no, Bofu is not a smart weapon for me, I don't think. So it, like, Salad Blade's still the play. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna be, I'm fucking reaching here for another kill, but I'm gonna try anyway. Six, dude. Of course he hits the fucking 46. Of course he does. That's so bad, man. So fucking unfortunate. King gets a perp here. He's going... Uh, going to be that thick red boy. It's going to be that thick red boy, probably, yeah. That sucks, man. This is the annoying part now. You've got to be like, yes, one. Yes, one. Because, like, if you go withdraw all, it just puts all the fucking pots in your inventory. Like, fuck off. Fucking retard system. <clears throat> Ask how the combo was lit. No XP rates. Thank you. I had to combo something. Right, and in my book, that's enough cruel for now. Like, I reckon we skip the slave task and do something worth our time. Like, that's enough. I'm happy with that, you know? One kill, time for a new slave task. Or two kills, it's not bad, you know? We're at 5k C, we'll try again next time. Then I was setting up to no quit items as you um, That doesn't count from desk off, it's only from Greystones. All the bots are gone, boys. Nature and bots are back at it. Make sure you report them when you see them. Do you have Scott artifacts to use? I do, but I've got the pet. I don't really care about that boss. I don't think there's many combat tasks left for it. One, what's the combat task? Oh, I do have chins now. Okay, let's go do that. I've got chins. Why not? Cox? Don't know. We're doing 24 hour agility stream. Cheese. It's disappointing to see such a fucking retard comment from someone that I like, man. It's really disappointing.
Do you like me? Am I one of the good ones? Let's not get parasocial, alright? Just be glad you're here and you're not banned. Do you think part of the reason Jarex doesn't ban all these bots right away is because each bot is paying for membership, which is a lot of money? No, because bots will just use bonds. They don't spend money. I think Jarex just doesn't fucking see them. Doesn't have the resources to control it as much as people think they can. You can see the bots, but like Jarex can't half the time. It's like when you see someone speeding, right? And you're like, where the fuck are the police? When I, but, but the police are always there when I'm breaking the fucking law. But what, the cops aren't here when you see someone breaking the law? It's, like, it's the same fucking thing, man. It's just bad luck, cringe, and fake and gay. Great analogy. Yep. Because appearing bots can only uh, can, can bot for level three to one twenty or whatever in fifteen k and still be running. Nah, they get they're hacked accounts that bot. They don't make new accounts to bot anymore. They hack accounts and then they bot them. It's way easier, way safer, faster. How long botanical pie boosts are? It's sixty seconds a level, four levels per slice. Do these little cunts respawn? If I kill them? And what corner do I need to be on? For, for them to hit, hit Skatezo with the chins? <clears throat> so right here, the southwest tile. Get the greater demon task. Kind of ultimate man doesn't know how long botanical pies last. A fresh one. Don't have to pay for membership if you hack an account. True. Yeah. No, hacking accounts and botting them is way easier. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, there's a fucking coward spotted here, boys. Hey, do by the way, Zealous. Good to see you, man. Catherine, good morning. How are you? Good corning. Let me get a bin in this room again. Throw the cunning out. Shut up. How do you hack an account in 2024? There's no way people are failing login pages. No, no. Your information is uh, gets sold and people buy it. 
It's likely that someone has access to your account, but they just, um... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Like, there's likely someone out there that has your username and password for RuneScape, but they don't have access to what, um, your authenticator. Social engineering as well, things like, yeah. Like, big bot farms will just buy, buy the fucking info, cunt. Worms, nah. Blue dragons, nah. Lizard men. I've got to. I've got to do lizard men. I can't. I can't not do lizard men, right? You've got to do it. Yeah, if you don't have a jack scan, you're pretty likely to be hacked. Jack scan Chinese North Korea hacked. Yeah, Jack has been hacked numerous times. It's been big data leaks, like heaps, man. Yeah. If you haven't changed your password since like 2018, you, you're definitely like at risk. You can't skip lizard men. No, you can't. Can't skip the Liz. The only Liz I'm skipping is Lizzo when she comes on the radio because fuck that fat bitch. Am I right, fellas? Am I fucking right? Yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. She has she has a good song, yeah? Which song's that? <laughs> allegations? <laughs> what allegations? <laughs> Where the hell my phone? No idea, dude. Lord, you're not beating cunt? Yeah, post the allegations. I bet I'll beat them fucking blindfolded. 100%. Tell you what, I'm gonna go quickly get a Peppy Max. Your boy's thirsty. Two seconds. myself a peppy max and I got myself some fucking spearmint milk oh, it tastes like toothpaste shut your fucking mouth oh hmm spilled out a little bit fucking open this cut up all right it's good shit do you like cokes no sugar lime and carbonate beverages don't know, not tried them. Spearmint milk sounds absolutely disgusting. How? You, you don't like spearmint? Like in general, as a flavor? Like spearmint ice cream? It's the same thing. Same fucking thing, it's just not frozen. There's no difference. <clears throat> Excuse 
excuse me. Right. Toothpaste milk jump. It's, if you, if anyone that says spearmint tastes like toothpaste, they're retarded. Mint is for chewing gum and toothpaste. No. Corn. You're gonna tell me that mint doesn't belong on lamb, like mint sauce? Is, are you gonna say that right now? You don't put mint sauce on lamb? Mint sauces, tits on more than just lamb. Yep. Mint on lamb, Wakanda. If you if, like, no, not Wakanda. No. Mint is an herb in cocktails slash sauces is entirely different. No. Why? So if it's food, it's not allowed, right? This isn't food. Tomato sauce, yes. What? Tomato sauce on lamb. You're retarded. Like egg scrambled? Um, I don't, I'll have eggs anyway, to be honest. I don't really mind. I'll have them anyway. You're making them. Eating mint extract is crazy. It's not mint extract though. It's it's milk. It, it no no that, I I disagree. I think that that is a that it's it's a fucking lukewarm low IQ take to think that anything mint is spearmint or, or spearmint related is automatically toothpaste or gum. That is that is poo poo. Sorry corn, but that is yet again. Chicken burger L. From a mint cow, yeah, they paint the cows green. Mint chocolate chip ice cream is mad, dude. You ever had mint or mint flavored Oreos? That shit's good. I'm aware your food takes a minute best. No, no, my food takes an S tier. You see, the thing is, Corn, you don't have experience as a chef, okay? I was once a chef in a in a all all American world star restaurant, okay? And I was even head chef for a little bit. All right, I know my food. I know what I'm doing. All right, I can tell you right now, my food takes are of the highest quality. World star! After eight mints, I'm uh, too bad ever. After eight mints are good, yeah, true. Yes, chef, exactly, thank you. Corns just watched a bit of Kitchen Nightmare and just disagreed with anything Gordon Ramsay said. That's it. I sent you baking paper. Yeah, oh, he chat, here you go. Alright. How often do you reuse your own baking paper chat in the oven? Like, you, put, you line your, your oven tray with baking paper? Do you replace it daily? Or do you use it multiple times? D you use it once? Multiple times? Yes, Daniel, my man! Absolutely cunt! Like, it's not fucked. If you've just cooked chips on it, cook chips on it again. Like, who gives a fuck, dude? Why would you use it once? No wonder you're sitting there going, oh, I can't afford to get extra spearmint milk this week. You're buying too much fucking baking paper. You're throwing it out like it's going out of fashion, mate. Why would you use it once? It's just greased paper with more grease. Like, why would, why would you throw it out just because it's been heated up a little bit? It makes no sense. <laughs> nice pizza crumb. Sit beans. Never use parchment paper, so I don't know. If you ever do, like, you can use it more than once. Paper costs like five cents, though. Yeah, if you're buying a sheet at a fucking time, sure. 
Even then, it's not even about the money. It's just like, why are you throwing it out? You use parchment paper that is stained and dirty. Okay, it's got, it, it's got a, it might have a bit of blackness on it, or it might be slightly discolored because guess what? Yes, it had fucking food frying on it in the oven, sure, but that doesn't mean it's bad. The oven's fucking 220 degrees Celsius fan forced. Nothing is surviving that heat. It's got grease and burnt cheese on it 8 out of 10 times. Okay, I'm not eating the burnt cheese. And every, like, all the food you're cooking down has got fucking grease on it anyway. How is it bad? Like, I don't, I don't understand how, how I am in the wrong here. Open the oven, pull the fucking tray out, put the food on it. Replace it when it starts to turn black. Would you reuse a condom? No, but there's bacteria and there's many other issues with reusing a condom. If, if you're using baking paper, it's completely fucking different, cunt. Like, you'd reuse a fucking water bottle, wouldn't you? Right? But you probably wouldn't after you fuck it. <clears throat> I do reuse water bottles, exactly. Disgusting. Corn has to throw his water bottles and his glasses out. He doesn't dishwash them either, he just fucking yeets them. Do you slurp your condoms? I don't think so. You're correct in not thinking so. If you had no paper, would you wash the tray? Um, I... I would probably, I would like fucking, you know, dust the crumbs off it if there's any crumbs on like chicken nuggets and shit. But like if it's a bit fucking greasy, who cares? Like I've got a fucking, I've got a frying pan. If I cook like bacon in the frying pan, I'll cook it, I'll cook in that fucking fat later, dude. 100%. Like it's, it's just grease. Like, it's, it's, it's fucking more grease. Why would you not reuse it? Animal fat is the best kind of fat. You can use baking, baking, you can use, you can reuse, sorry, baking grease, but you can't reuse fucking fat from chips. It's the same fucking logic. It's the exact same. There is no difference. The difference is the fucking animal it comes from. One's a potato, one's a chicken. One's a what a dog or whatever the fuck bacon comes from. One doesn't start a fire, it's fine. If it doesn't, it's just a little bit of extra flavour, exactly. Only time I don't reuse is if I have maple smoked bacon and maple gets too sticky and burnt. Fair. Carcinogens? I don't know what that means. I don't think potatoes are animals. What are they, people? I use parchment paper, but I use I see the argument for using it multiple times. Depends on what you're cooking. Yeah, I get criticised heavily. Hey, depends on the potato. True. <laughs> Carcinogens are cancer-causing chemicals. Oh right, okay. So basically, like you, you get fucking you fucking sucking dick causes cancer these days. Yeah, these bitches don't stop, do they? People don't care if shit causes cancer anymore. You get criticised because you use. Old ass parchment. Old ass parchment? It's it's like three days. It's not even that bad. You spell defense in the right way in Australian way? I don't know. I think I do both. Three days is fine. It's not clean. I said what do you mean it's not clean? It's fucking food that you're cooking. At 220 degrees, it's not clean, it's grease. What, what? What, what do you mean? That's not, how is that not, what do you mean that's nasty? How? It, it is not, you are wrong on every fucking level. It has black shit on it? That's when I throw it out. It's not gonna start a grease fire. Is the time sitting there? Why? How? What's wrong with it sitting there? What's the reason for not replacing it? I just don't. Like... I don't see the need to replace it. Like, why, why replace it? Like, why, why... Why do things you don't need to fucking do? Like, it's fine. Cook on it. Sweet. I'll replace it when it needs fucking replacing. 
it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's not about being lazy at all. You don't change your oil in your car just because it's gone a little bit fucking black, do you? You keep running that cunt. Lazy, you're not that poor. It's got nothing to do with money. <laughs> I just look at it and I go, I'm going to throw food on that. So fucking scrumping it up and putting it in the bin, like, it's still got life in it. You don't eat oil in your car. True. But you eat oil with your food. I wonder how dog bacon would taste. Yeah, <laughs> same. The heat will kill the extra germs left on it. There are... Exactly. Nothing survives 220 degrees Celsius. You can fucking Google it. There is no bacteria. There is nothing that's going to kill you. Nothing that's going to make you sick. And it's going to taste better because guess what? It's grease on grease on grease. It, that's, that's, it, that's all it is. You're, you're just adding on flavor for more flavor. You're going to sit there and tell me that fat and oil, like animal fat and oils, aren't, aren't like, good? So using grease and frying free, you're not going to toss the grease after one use. That's exactly right. Your deep fryer. Do you, do you drain your deep fryer after every fucking batch that you cook? I know Macca's doesn't, and you still eat the shit out of that. Absolutely reuse oil in the deep fryer depending on what you're frying. You can re you can reuse parchment paper if you're baking more than one in a day. What? Because it's sat there for more than 24 hours, you have to throw it out. It's fucking paper. It's it's not cheese. It, it it's 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 fucking. It's not like something that ages. It's not like it's oxidizing at a rate that's even remotely dangerous. I've done cooking for the day, you should throw out the paper and clean the fucking pan. Why though? That's silly. It's not growing life on it? No, it's not. Fill the deep fryer, you don't throw it out, you reuse it. Oh, I thought you just throw it out the window. Bacteria is growing on that overnight, it's unsanitary. What sort of bacteria survives 220 degrees Celsius? Fan forced. Shut up, Dan. Bitch. Oh my God. That's right, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That tastes not bacteria. It tastes great, what do you mean? It tastes better. But te technically, it doesn't taste any fucking different, to be honest. But I'd imagine, if anything, it's going to taste better. You're, you're not cooking mold. Like, like it doesn't, like... You're not building up fucking mold and shit. It's fucking oil. It's grease, at most. Bean, beans thinks what I'm doing is, is like, I'm, I'm fucking cooking a pizza, and then, like, half the pizza topping is falling onto the tray, and I'm just leaving it there like, ah, oh, that'll be right. That's what she thinks I'm doing. Like, it's just like fucking grease. Why do you need antidote for these? What poisons you? Just their, their auto attacks poison you. That's what you do. That's not what I do. I don't spill my pizzas. I'm a very careful chef. I just get criticised by people who call chicken burgers chicken sandwiches because it's about the fucking bread or some shit. Or it's not about the bread, it's about the meat inside, which makes no fucking sense. Okay? That's totally what you do. Flyback, you didn't, you've never fucking been to the Discord call, man. The gear and helm protection is the big poison splash, yes. Can't call chicken burger, you don't invent it. You didn't invent it? Neither did you come. You're dead wrong about those chicken sandwiches too? No. No. If you think that it's a chicken sandwich when it's clearly a fucking burger, then you are not part of this conversation. You are immediately fucking L, dude. Next thing you were telling us you don't replace your toothbrush after each brush. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping for the gauntlet, but now I'm here. I hate this. Yep, that's pretty much how it works, dude. Welcome to RuneScape. 
Looks like a burger to burger. Yeah, but Americans think that it's a chicken sandwich even though it's in a fucking burger bun. Because it's, it's, it's only a burger if it's got red meat. Like, that makes a fucking difference. Absolutely not. A beef patty does not make it a burger. Being a burger makes it a burger. I think it's because it's on a burger bun that it's a burger. Yes, the rest of the world thinks that. Only America thinks a chicken sandwich is a chicken burger. It's a sandwich if it's between bread. It's a burger if it's between buns. It doesn't matter what the fuck is in between. That is exactly the logic. Burger is not red meat. Burger is anything between burger buns. Does not matter. How do you have a vegan burger then? It's not red meat. You can't say it's a vegan burger, but you can't say chickens don't count. Does an American owner confirm it's chicken sandwich or burger? Well, that's right. You can confirm that you're wrong. Thank you for proving my point. It's not chicken sandwich unless it's between two slices of bread. That's a sandwich. Vegan burgers and a burger? Right. But why do they call it vegan burger? Only beef is a burger? No, if you think only beef is a burger, then you're wrong and your opinion is invalid. It's true. It's meant to replace red meat? Then it's not a burger, by your logic. Do you have Chick-fil-A and Aussie? I don't think we do, no. Can you end stream, please? Why, you want to watch Breaking Bad? Does ground meat of any kind that's burger in a burger bun is a burger? If it's anything in a burger bun, it's a burger. And I'm tired. Give me, give me a little bit. Give me, give me 15 minutes. So you think burgers are an American creation? True. Put a hot dog in a burger bun. Is it now a burger? No, it's stupid. Hamburger specifically beef. Chicken burger specifically childish. No. The chicken patty between burger buns is a chicken burger. Doesn't matter. If I remove the outside part of the burger bun, would it become a sandwich? No, it just becomes food. Hot dogs or sandwiches change my mind? No, they, I mean, sure. Burger bun is bread? Yes. Just like cheese is milk, mate. It's McChicken, true dude. It's McChicken burger. Pizza is a sandwich. I think someone said it was, but like a, a cheeseburger from Macca's is a cake. If we put your parchment paper on a burger bun, isn't our burger? No, but I bet it's gonna taste good. Burger just short for hamburger. Uh, sure, or chicken burger. <laughs> you fucked that one up, didn't you? <laughs> what is the beef patty in bread? Is that a burger? If, if I put a beef patty in, in, in bread, I would class it as a sandwich. Why they call it hamburger if there's no ham? Because it sounds better than beef burger, I guess. Beef sandwich? Uh, probably, I don't know. I, I just normally wouldn't do it because it's a bit silly. I probably would still call it a burger, maybe, I don't know. I, I'm not like so childish that I play with my fucking food and then be a petty little chatter cunt that's like, what about this really unlikely situation that you'll never do? What about that? Like, I get it that you've got, like, just take the L, you know? Why is it called a patty melt if the patty didn't melt? Shut the fuck up, dude. There's a burger place near here that offers burgers in a Sire Better bun. I don't know what that is. <sighs> the chat, you, you guys have never ceased to amaze me, hey? 
Why do they, why do we drive on a parkway and park on a driveway? No one drives on a fucking parkway, can. <laughs> Butter. I don't know what that means. What is that? They called it Patty Milk because the guy made. It was made by a guy named Patty. I think it's because you melt shit onto the fucking Patty can. How you pronounce Sibeta? Sibeta. Why the fuck is the English language so, like, fucked, eh? Is Chrysler Valley a rebadged Plymouth of Australia? No, it's Australia Chrysler. Chrysler is its own brand. It's all GM. Like Plymouth is. Why is it called a race when white already came first? The race is over. True, dude. How do you pronounce Cockburn? Coburn, mate. Which is funny because it says, yeah, Cockburn, but it's actually pronounced Coburn. It's a bit silly. For those that don't know, it's a place in Western Australia. Literally spelt Cockburn, but it's pronounced Coburn. Whoever fucking, like, came up with the name was having a whale of a time, eh? He was like, let's do it. He made history. He's a guy that takes opportunities when he sees them. Yeah, pronounced Cockburn anyway, yeah. Patty Mel was a vendor during the Great Depression in California because he didn't have the money to pay for burger buns. He had to put it on regular sandwich bread. Nice. So it wasn't a burger then. What's up, Harry? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Old man grew up in a place called Iron Knob. Hell yeah. That's huge. Alright boys, I'm going to wrap the stream up there. Because we do have one episode of Breaking Bad left to watch. And I do want to get a lot of my car work done tomorrow. So I'm going to end it there. One purple today in Tearway. We'll do more Tearway tomorrow, I reckon, if you're around high guy. I think that'd be really good. I really appreciate uh, the support from you guys. You guys are champions. Even though you know fuck all about food and cooking. I'm happy to um, accept you guys and your faults for who you are. Because at the end of the day... Um, it's it's good banter and it's it's nice to it's nice to just be the bigger man you know the bigger man and just you know that that's how it is it's it's just it's a blessing and a curse being me <laughs> thank you guys you, you, you're awesome fuck your beans keep yourself safe boys I'll see you all tomorrow and uh, yeah much love to you all thank you.